14 months of being subbed to this WEMP, I'm not sticking around as I'm working but have a great stream, see you on the VOD.
Chateau, it's Tuesday, and coming up today on Building a Nations with Sirens in Malta, we have a youth intake which is bound to be utter dog shy, but that is not the point. We have 11 league games. Can we catch up with Hammer and take our first title of the save, or will we have to settle for a nice little European spot of football? There's also the cup. Can we win that, or will we get knocked out? All that and more coming up today on Building a Nation with Malta. I've just turned my headphones all the way down. What that weren't bad. That wasn't awful. You know what? It it was the best yet. Still not great. There was a little bit. There was, there was a few moments. It was the best of the save. Yeah, which frankly, ah, it's my own fault for whatever the hell that was. Oh, now that's what I call competence, Shadow. You love to see it. I also, you're right. That was the perfect ex description. Warning: expect the expected. And you know what to expect. <laughs> you do. Gaish, thank you very much for the. Three months and then you press the live button. I, I, I'd love to. That's what we're trying to do. But thank you, man. That's really kind of you. Hope you're well this morning. And also, Awful Taja, thank you for the 14 months. You're probably not actually here now because you're going back to the VODs, but I'm now saying thank you to you on the VODs. MTK, oh, so many times. I'm so close to saying MTK almost every single time. It's because it's Malta. Where is Pog? Pog is at work. Uh, as per. In fact, Pog was very late to work today because the train got cancelled while she was on it. Um, so that's always fun. Uh, but it stood there for half an hour before cancelling it just to make sure that she was extra late. You know, wouldn't want to accidentally having a, a secondary option there or anything like that. No, 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 no. We're going to stay here for half an hour and then you're going to be late. <laughs> it's truly some of the... Yeah, it's not great. Pog's here on Thursday though, chat. So that's good news, isn't it? Um, it's going to be a rare day where I literally leave Big Face Matt immediately and we go straight into a game. I know, crazy. It's almost like we have a lot to do today. Like, a lot. <laughs> <laughs> well, indeed. <laughs> it insulted her time, is what happened. Uh, I've already got the team selected and everything. We're good to go. Because we've got 11 league games to get through, and probably one cup game, let's be honest, because we're playing Hammer Room, but you just never know. Uh, we've also got lots of outs going on, and Ndong makes his first appearance for the club today. So we've got Dick Ndong. We are literally one bungalow short of a meme. It's good times. Oh, right. You mean ice packs. So I'm glad you mentioned that uh, postcode. Was that you that put that in the Discord? I cackled my ass off when I saw that. So I'm, I literally can't show it on a stream. But if you want a good laugh, go to the Boots website. This is more of a UK thing. And just literally search for ice packs. The first thing will amaze and astound you. And if you want a secondary laugh beyond that, please do read the one single review of said product. I'll, I'll let you enjoy that one yourself. Pretty much that too, Andrew. I mean, what have I got to talk about? I'm happy we won. <laughs> Nothing more to say, right? <laughs> Three points in the bag. Hey, easy. Or something. Oh, dear. To be fair, we... I noticed it more in the first season there was a lot of pens. This season, less so. But it might just be because we got slightly better. Advent calendars. They have adult advent calendars on boot. Look at Janosch. Look at him in his wonderful teal chinos. Barcelona. Oh, is he? I think he's done quite good things already this season, to be fair. Look at... We are five minutes in and we're already in the middle of a match. I'm a new man, chat. You won't recognize me by the end of the stream. It's the, it's the new hoodie that I got. It's good times. Messer Um, oh, what? Do not put on dick and balls. That was a particular classic. D Speaking of dick, here he is. It's the perfect segue. Can Kate to score? No, we can't. Oh, is it really? Boots are getting a bit uh, kinky, aren't they? They're kinky boots. How is that the first? It's the fact that it calls it, and I'm going to say it out loud, a male masturbator pack. Pack. Do we need a pack for this? <laughs> EA are getting desperate, man. These promos are shit. Way too big is enough to give a guy. Does it say that? I only saw one rev one review. It was something like um finishes me finishes me faster than watching Hollyoaks or something. <laughs> it's on sale. There you go. What folder? <laughs> I think it goes in editor data, but we'll have to ask the god of editing, Hadrian. He'll know. Kata flicks it over the crossbar. We started quite well here. To be fair, I do want revenge on Master after what happened the first game this season against them. That is still going to make a very fun part of the recap video, but that's about it at this point. 
Oh, if anyone hasn't seen, yeah, I literally can't even show it on stream. <laughs> but yeah, if you haven't seen it, enjoy. Is that the review or the product? Let me just have a look. Bloody hell, that's really expensive too. Does the pack work well? No, unfortunately, it doesn't work well with the uh, with the with the size twenty four skin because it gets caught. In <laughs> uh, I've managed to just train myself out of saying that. Oh, go on, Cater. Debut for the club. He's through and he's balanced it over the bar. Are we actually going to do this again against Marsa? It feels like. No, that's that is some expensive jizzery. Ah. Uh. Fell off when windmilling. Wait, there's more reviews. I only saw one review. Have people just been leaving loads of them since then? Because the only one I saw was finishes me faster than Hollyoaks. That's all I saw. 11 now? Suppose with it being on sale, like, you know. Uh, maybe it's all like regional or something. <laughs> Somehow, I don't know. How are we not winning again? Come on, lads. Have we got any chance of actually winning the title this year? Which, I'll be honest, we really don't. But it would be nice to at least maintain the veneer of it. Um, Basically, Tartan Hero, if you want to know, just go just look on Boots' website and look for ice packs. Uh, all will become, I would say clear, but perhaps that's not the right term. Yeah, Granddad's Xmas game sorted. I still need to do some Christmas shopping, man. I usually do it all in one day, basically. I'm like a speed demon when I get on the game. Once I get on the Christmas shopping, I'm on it for like an entire day. 11 when you click it. Oh, sick. I should have looked a bit deeper then. Actually, in a way, I probably shouldn't have just for my own sanity more than anything else. Go on. Cross it in. Molinar at the back post. No, nope, clear away again. Dick, go on. Oh, dick over the bar. Perfect turn. There you go. Oh. Yeah, I mean, I am waiting for payday so I can really get stuck. Well, really get stuck. So I can actually get stuck in. But oh, Christ. Look at the space at right back. He's throw. Don't you dare. Not again. Not again. Oh. Like, the perfect travel use to use on the go. Like, what's just on the train? <laughs> 100 people looked at the product in the last hour, and they're all in this chat. <laughs> Boots is going like, what's up with this? Oh, Dick Square, it, please. Esselink! Yes! Sem Esselink 1-0. Thank fucking Christ. Uh, we're only into... The this is the second season Bulgarian special, so we are in January second season, but we're going to be finishing off the season today. That's the, the plan anyway, because we want to be doing um recap for Thursday and obviously uh, getting into the transfer winner. Hopefully celebrating a European football qualification. And if we keep winning games like this, we will. Don't think uh, to do the boot shop. Maybe they do. Maybe they just want lots of face masks. Did you ever think about that? I bought this for the lighthouse and I'm a keeper there. Long story short. Wait, what? Oh, I can't let me scroll, damn it. Because I needed extra power. I had to use the mains that the plastic melted. There you go. A lighthouse-powered men's masturbatory pack. Brand new sentence. Enjoy. Don't you dare let him shoot. He's... That's a weak-ass effort. We're fine. Oh, Twitch streamer suggested it to me, but they would never guess it was me. Like, they just would never know. Of all the Twitch streamers to recommend something like that, like, I'm not the one. Ah, uh, what we just... Oh, no, you've clicked on it now. You've added to the to the misery. We should off to Europe, not be allowed to make changes in the players who you physically cut. Yeah... I feel like... Oh, that's a pen. That is pen to claw in. For once, an actual penalty in Malta that looks like a penalty and isn't just a normal tackle. Great hell with the long winter nights that lay ahead. Why get, like, one of those nice lamps when you could just do that as Kater slots home? I believe that is his first goal for the club on his debut. It's a Kater. It's just dishwasher say. I suppose I can sort of... Un I can just about, in the depths of my brain, understand why that logic would apply, I guess glass milk bottles oh right good Cooper, solid I condan I condan X thank you very much for the follow was it the dildo chat freaky. what did it uh, right we should probably make some subs because we're actually a bit tired and Jean do you know if there's a train because we had that cup game midweek oh yes yeah, so very soon oh actually I think this one yeah, would be oh god Larry's in shall I try it I think I will try I'm going to try out Samuel Rios the new Argentinian lad that we've got would be cold I guess it would be yeah uh, Neil Diamond, thank you very much for the follow. Fan of your work, sir. It's, I mean, it had to be done. If anything, Dick should be putting in a better performance based on this. Being like, yes, Daz, we were discussing the wonderful things that can happen if you search for ice packs on the Boots website. Rios slips it over the top. Mars is in. Can he get an assist on his debut? And he can. 
good signs. Mars' 17th goal this season. He has been an absolute cheat code. I was doing some prep for the recap video because I wanted to get a little bit of a head start, given that it's two seasons I'm recapping instead of one. And really, Granillo should be doing better than Marza. Like, he is better in almost every department, but Marza just scores goals for whatever reason. How did I find this out? Someone, uh, I believe it was Postcode, put it in the Discord a few days ago. And Pog and I had a good old laugh at that one. Washing versus my bone china. It's good use of the word bone china. I'm just saying. Surely a flashlight is bone china in a way. <laughs> Oh, also Valletta lost at home against Hibs. So good times for us. Um, and that gives us a bit more of a gap. This is almost the same amount of like performance that we put in against Master the first time, except this time we're going to win. Just search now. Now you're, now you're regretting it. Look at me. It's making everyone regret their life choices today. So I tell the swamp Kaboobla. Dog, what a crap. No, not Kaboobla. <laughs> Kazoobla. Although Kaboobla, also excellent. <laughs> Thank you so much for the follow. Superb name. Wonderful news. <laughs> Kaboobla. <laughs> Sorry, I've got the yeah. It's been a it's been a morning, my friend. It's been a morning. Will it arrive in time for Christmas? I'm sure it will. Boots do like. Pog's got a boots car. Never. She's got the points, man. That's the next. <laughs> the kaboobla from Boots. What would that even do? Automated nipple tassels. Zoobs. Zoobs works even better. Um. Just as well you weren't called Zoobs, otherwise I'd just called you Boobs at that point, wouldn't I? But Kazoobla is a wonderful... Okay, I've got to ask. I sometimes ask this about people. Where did the name Kazoobla come from? Because it's a fantastic name. Zabar lose again. Are Mars Sashlock being accidentally quite good now? By your torture points? Yeah. Porno even villains. <laughs> do they have villains in porn? <laughs> I mean, obviously in the industry they do, of course. But like, otherwise known as all of it. Uh, but... Dude, is that like a thing? Are you watching it for the story chat? Ah, uh, hammering win again. Yeah, that lead is not going to be pulled back unless we beat them. Maybe we. It might even be better for us to not to go out of the cup in some ways. Just made it up. To, to be fair, that's, that's one way of going about it. Sometimes people have interesting stories behind their names, and I'm always just a little bit curious. Porno Batman has to fight someone after all. Shagged his parents to death. No. I'm sorry. I've not had any caffeine or anything. <laughs> I've not had any caffeine. <laughs> I promise, chat. It's a normal day. Worry not. Banksy, thank you very much for distracting us all with the eight months. Happy eight months, Matt. Hope you're doing well. Doing well is a, is a, is a strong use of the word. Bring on the <laughs> <Klugelfeld> <laughs> I don't, what context could possibly make that okay? <laughs> Bart, Bart Co, thank you so much for the follow. Uh, Marcelo's logo. Oh, Serbia Manchester United. Let's have a look at Serbia Manchester United while I quickly move things along. Uh, not OFL, OFK. Not off, that's... Verb... Sats. Oh, there we go, Versace. Yeah, that's pretty much... That is, I don't, normally you see this, I feel like, more in African nations and sometimes in the South American lower leagues. Rarely see this in Europe, but big oh, fan, oh. apart from in Portugal, obviously, where they just have lots of the top flight badges lower down. Maybe I need the caffeine, it's true. The D-saw, thank you for the follow. I assume the seesaw was taken. <clears throat> Why are they not getting, I mean, good question, I guess. I think it's probably because Manchester United are, as we all know, not very litigious. And so they would never sue someone for absolutely no reason on petty grounds. They're not that type of club, are they? Jay, thank you. Wow. Thank you so much for the brand new tier one. In amongst all of that, somehow someone thought, yes. Jay thought, yes, this is the kind of stream for me. <laughs> thank you, Jay. That's super nice of you, though. They would never do that. They would never not do that, in it. Right, we move. Look at us. We've already got a game out of the way. I'm pressing continue. We've also got a sale going through. I'm probably not going to... Well, there's a, there's a what really? Or oh, sell now? Oh, in magic. Wait, have they got money? No, <laughs> no, they don't. Let's try it anyway. Maybe they're gonna. What about zero? Okay, that's fine. That gets the wages off the bill. He was gonna leave at the end of the season for free. They can't afford him, so we may as well just give him to them now for free because he's not gonna play for us. A million pound release scores as well, and that's gonna get his wages off of our wage bill too. Not ideal for us, but you know what? £725 a week. Maybe it'll be better for them than he was for us, but... Yeah, no. And he wasn't even very good for Usfas. 
and a hammer. It's it's what you need. Oh dear, it's not that bad, is it? Not. Uh explain. Is it just one of these things where it's got messed up? It's a very different type of boots today. Yes. <laughs> do we play Slima? We probably do. In fact, I feel like we play them into. <laughs> Yeah. Hey, it's only the next game, so we all know what's about to happen there. Uh, <laughs> that's a convenient. Good for us there, eh? That's just what we needed. Uh, national badge. The national badge is... Wait, yeah, it's a C, isn't it? Um... Wait, that's second tier now. It. This bit here is a little bit um of an homage, shall we say. Oh, Dabo's definitely going to hat trick us for sure, without a doubt. Phil, thank you so much for the 17 months. How's it going, Ben? That's really nice of you. Morning, well. Matto and Chatto. Morning. Yeah, no, don't do that on. To be fair, as long as you don't click the link, you'll be right. It's just if you click it, because otherwise it's just I'm just on the Boots website, boss. I don't know what you're talking about. Uh, that's all we want there. I'm still using the Mike's ones for the rest of the season for the time being. Uh, that's. I'll use the preseason one there because that's just high intensity stuff keep us fresh uh that's the guy that wow to be fair that's a big way so i can sort of understand why he turned us down honestly so loads of trials finishing there that's fine we've already got that other dude sewn up potentially we might better get him now with that darbo money uh alio is expecting more playing time wait didn't we do that is he unhappy again whoa that's a lot of promises right so i've got to make sure that we start and wait hang on didn't we he started that game, right? If he kicks off, right, about this, then I'll be a bit pissed because he's a cup goalkeeper. So his playing time should come in the cup. And he has played in the cup. So if he kicks off about his lack of playing time as a cup goalkeeper, I'll be a bit annoyed. We haven't had the youth intake yet. No, that, that isn't until April. So we need to make sure that we start uh, Traore for the next few matches. Uh, I need to loan out... God, we've got so many options here. Right, we're going to loan out G uh, Gideon because that's just what we need to do. Or at least pretend that we're doing that. Club coaching staff. How long do we have to do that? Uh, reduce the number of RP players at the club. What? That's weird. Uh, of course he'll kick off. Yeah, you're not wrong. To be fair, he would have kicked off before. What season? Second season. Right. So how do we deal with these one by one? Um, I think that... Can I ask the... I mean, I could ask the ball for more staff. Just more coaches or something. See if they'll say yes to that first. And then if they, if they won't, then we'll just get some new coaches that are better and then just eat the cost of sacking the other guys because I don't think there'll be... So, right, M Malish is signing for Dunkirk, which is awesome. £61,000 for Samuel Malish. That, for me, is a really nice deal for us. It's not huge money, obviously, but nevertheless, it's more wages off the bill for a player that wasn't... He's been good in that first season, but we kind of... Now that we've got Undong, it's a... Oh, you sold a player using an intermediary. There we go. Oh! <gasps> Oh, they've actually given us more coaches. This is... How many, though? Oh, two more. All righty, then. Should we try and grab some randos for some scouting knowledge, maybe? If there's no one good. There will be someone good, though. We'll have one for maybe, like, quality and one for, uh... One for not that. Let's see if there's any good coaches first. Because we could really do with getting some decent ones in anyway. Right. Anyone solid. Alex Chase always seems to be there. God, Dennis Halilovic. Is he... Oh, no. I'm thinking of someone else. Oh, that's Alan Halilovic I was thinking of. The guy that used to play for Barcelona. Mm. The question is, who's actually any good? He's got good discipline, but his actual... Other than his discipline, Michael Vivian looks quite solid. Maybe. Ah, dear. Uh, Zetlos, thank you so much for the five months. And now we're on a hype train. You'd love to see it. That's very kind of you, man. Hope you're well. Wait, is Gary Cahill there? Oh, he is. And he plays a 4 4 2. Here's a and, oh, it's really a consensual A license. That's annoying. Simple. It's just two blocks from here. Come on, Gaza. £300 a week? Yes, Gary Cahill. Sorted. Anyone else playing a 4 4 2 while we're at it? There's Mazizi. He's an assistant manager, though. And I suspect that that's what he'd want to do. And his coaching is actually trash. Struggled with fun. Yes. Um, particularly as I keep accidentally sending players on language courses, which cost, well, between 25 and 30,000 pounds a pop. <laughs> YC, thank you very much for the follow. 
I kind of feel like we just need to get someone good for this last one. And it's a 4 4 I mean, it's a diamond, admittedly, but he has at least got really good tactical, mental defending coaches. Songbot is indeed working today, yes. Key stats colors. Ah, so basically, uh, if you go into preferences, um, this is, I feel like, the thing people don't pay much attention to. Obviously, this is the way I set mine up, but yeah. So, uh, no, it's not to do with the skin uh, for once. This is actually a thing you can do in any skin in the game. So, if you type in skin in the game, but then you go up here, go to skin colors. And in this, you can set the colors for everything you want, actually. But the only ones I mess with are the attribute colors. I leave the thresholds alone, but I just set the worst one to red, then yellow, green, and blue. And it just makes it so easy from like a distance to not even have to read the numbers just to kind of get an idea of someone's good or bad, just with a glance, basically. It's not worth looking. At Hang on. Well, that's a good point, actually, true. But I, would, I mean, this guy's just good anyway, and he probably wouldn't make us end up. Because it's tactical. And set pieces, which, yeah, no one's going to be that. Oh, no, that's where we are good. Goalkeeping is kind of shit, to be fair. Yeah, we could have a look for a goalkeeping coach. Let's see if they can find a good goalkeeping coaches. Because that might help us just in general. Uh, there's actually a few guys about. Uh, let me just get goalkeeping coach filter. Uh, scroll, 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 scroll. Goalkeeping coach overall filter fun. there we go right cool just want someone who's wow okay he's very good and he's a 4 4 -er. david priest is just a very good goalkeeping coach which makes me think that he's probably not going to sign for us <laughs> sorry just the 3.6k okay probably not david priest then maybe this guy here sebastian jaffoy with the i'd pay the three grand because look at the wage. £160 a week. I'll make it 150 just to really screw with him. Like, he's very good. There's a Moldo. Uh, there is, but he's not as good, is he? Like, this guy's just solid across the board. We might as well get a good coach at this stage. Even though he only has French knowledge. But I don't think Man Mozambique knowledge would do us a great deal of good at this point. Because you kind of already have it, I think, actually. Right. That's, that should help that side of things. So what else have we got to do there's more promises so that was strength of the staff he has to play another game at some point Stas, Stas new version of the skin which is coming out in december actually has the time left on the promises on this screen which is um, weird that it's not in the base game he's actually going to kick off about it isn't he that's wild that's got a bit more time on it um so we'll just play him for all the oh we can't shit <laughs> sneaky thank you so much for the gifted sub that's really kind of you my friend oh dear no seriously that's so nice um, not all of them because they're all sort of for different stuff. I just have them in one big thing. So it depends on what you're looking for because I didn't want people to have to download 300 views just to find the one they wanted. So it depends on what specific one you're looking for. So I have separate ones for the analysis, the staff roles, the player roles, the, everything basically. Um, so coaching staff is sorted. Who's unhappy? Quite a few people actually. But this is all to do with the promises, isn't it? So that will kind of fix itself. I think as... Honestly, I think the best thing we can do is keep playing Troyore because he's our goalkeeper. He'll be happy with that. Hirkins, we can just... They'll just recall him. So that'll get rid of his unhappiness. And he's a second choice keeper anyway. So it's not the biggest deal unless he gets an injury. That'll then clear up a lot of the other promises. Malish is going to be gone anyway. So that'll help with that too. I think this is all going to come good. It's a brave stance, I realise. But I think we're going to be fine. Darbo excited ahead of Tothry. Bro, you were here yesterday. It has been a grand total of a day since you left the club. It's going good, Dan. How are you, my man? Bet you're feeling quite good. Hirkins is from... I think it's... No, it's not Sparta Rotterdam, is it? I hope it's not, because I actually quite like them and their players. I think it was from Herenveen. Oh, Sparta Prague. For some reason, I just assumed it was a Dutch club, because, well, the, the name. And he's annoying. I don't really want to piss off Sparta Prague, but we might not have a choice. Because we can't send him back, can we? Agrafa Sam, thank you for the it's seven months. It's super resub time to the world's okayest streamer. Mon the Malt to and Mon the Sirens. Hope all is well. All is good. All is good. This is a good idea. Yeah, that's true. Get Darbo. Get yourself down to boots, buddy. You're not going to believe what I see. So they can recall. Yeah, so they can recall him, which we might need them to do, honestly. But I think we can do that the next time they get pissed at us. Oh, loan offers for Gideon. No wage demands or anything like that. But, you know, he said he wants to go out on loan. We're just going to have to take it and see what happens. 
Uh, ah, shit. Wait. Regular starter. I love how they always want to go to the club that's going to play the, the, gonna give them less football. It, it always feels like the case. Clarky! Thank you for the 30 bloody months. Wow, that's a lot of months. How are you, man? Okay, let's... Wow, Valletta lose again. I swear at one point it was us and Valletta flying away at the top, and now they are just hemorrhaging points left and right. Hang on, how the fuck have we slipped to second? To third? Okay, Bicky Kara come out of nowhere. I'll take third, honestly. If we have to get third this season, I'll take it. As long as we don't come fourth, it's all good. Enjoy not getting it back. I mean, that's true, yeah. I guess you just wanted to play, but it's like, bud, you're not here for that. Right. I'm going to start, obviously, Ali Ushriore. These guys have got a lot of... Yeah, I'm going to start Jean on the left-hand side here with Grineo. And Marza... Yeah, he's right footed. We'll drop Grineo because Marza just seems to do stuff, right? Cool. It's going to be okay. Have they not even start? Oh, it, 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 worry not, chat. They've not even decided to start Darbo in this game uh, because they already have Abubakar Kareem, who... I would say he's better, but he's... He kind of is, but he does like that dribbling and first touch. Lose complete faith in me as a manager because I wouldn't loan him out as a fringe player. Yeah, it's wild, isn't it? I do feel like partly because of the level we're managing at, that definitely has an impact on it because they're just kind of, yeah. Uh, to run this Malta League, uh, exclamation mark Malta, and you'll get the latest version of the database, which is the one I'm currently playing on, i.e. the one that is much more difficult than the original version. And I love it. It's so perfectly balanced at the moment for me. I'm enjoying the shit out of it. Is he on the, even on the bench? Yeah, there he is. Along with Omar Rao as well, which is annoying. What do I make of it? Um, bit fortunate. I think Vinicius probably should have been sent off, honestly. Tim Ream. Mistakes. Um, he's 36. And frankly, we don't... Like, Tim Ream has definitely... I don't think he's been as good this season as he was last year. But last year, he was absolutely superb. I think he's just losing a little bit of pace. A little bit more pace. And... We have been signing players with the idea of... Like, Calvin Bassey really is supposed to be, like, the successor to Tim Ream. The only reason that they're playing in the way they are is because, obviously, um, with Diop's injury and Tosin's injury, it's made it a bit of a forced... I mean, you can see how uncomfortable Bassey looks when he's on the right. He like, he always has to try to use his left foot because he's so left-footed. Uh, wow, what a dreadful first half of the game. Vinicius, yeah, I don't know what he was doing there. The only reason he stayed on the pitch for me was because Max Kilman did him a massive favour by, like, not reacting other than just going like that. If he goes down there, it's a red card. I don't know why it wasn't, honestly. What is he playing at? <clears throat> yeah, he does it to anyone else, and it's a red card. But to be fair, that shouldn't matter. The player shouldn't have to roll around to get a red card to get the other player sent off of violent conduct. They should just be acknowledging that, right? Kilman does seem like a nice dude, yeah. We still... I mean, it's weird seeing us um, level one red cards, to be fair. Well... I'm trying to think of another example of one, but that one definitely. Vinicius, to be fair, has done that a few times this season. Not that specifically, but got really hot-headed for no reason. Uh, right, that was... A, was there even a single highlight in that half? How long are you live? Uh, till three today, probably, but it might go a bit longer because we're trying to finish off the full season. Oh, the Palini one. Yeah. That was... Yeah. Fair enough. I feel like that exact thing has happened a few times this season. The players have not been red-carded for it. Like, you know, the Gimaraish one against... Um, was it? Yeah, I think it was Bruno against Arsenal. Obviously, I feel like that was more blatant and still didn't get sent off for it. It's odd. Where do they open the new stadium? Uh, who's new stadium? We haven't got one yet, thankfully. Um, that'll probably come this summer, though, I suspect. We're going to start seeing the first stuff of that. Just that, Oh, yeah, it was. That game was all over the place, to be fair. Oh, absolutely, they should have been, yeah. Just want to fire Oh, the new Fulham stand. Oh, right. Um, it's technically, I think, nearly open, There's but no one wants to sit in it because it's so oh, fucking expensive. Samassi! Good save. Clop and dagger. Thank you very much for the follow. Uh. God, actually, I don't think the debate about whether which goal was better is even really relevant. Like, who cares, right? It was a fucking unbelievable goal, which I happened to miss because I didn't get the stream loaded until like two minutes into the game. <laughs> um, so that was fun. But I, I just... Yeah, I don't, couldn't care less which one was better. It was just an unbelievable goal. Klopp and Dagger as well with the prime straight away. Thank you very much, mate. Wow. That's so nice. Whoa, what the f... What in the world? Sneaky, thank you for the seven gifted subs. What an oddly specific number. Um, holy shit. Thank you so much, everybody. Wow. Let's just come out of nowhere. Um, I will just do, finish these substitutes because I want the game to actually progress while I'm being me. Uh, right, we'll just... 
throw that around as well that'll do holy shit i think that's just i think the comparison stuff seriously sneaky though thank you so much man that's so insanely and unnecessarily nice of you my friend i, I really do appreciate it though the um that comes from the way that modern media is oh this is everything has to be compared to something else there's no like things just can't exist and be good on their own i think um but that just seems to be the way it is right <clears throat> on youtube on 1.25 speed my god you're a madman <laughs> Normally people tell me to slow down, Sneaky. But as a fellow watching everything on at least 1.25 speed enjoyer, I, I understand your your pain. Uh, GBFC, thank you for the follow. Exactly, yeah. Everything has to be those 30 second clips. And well, I actually couldn't care less which one was better. I just think it was an absolutely fantastic goal. Uh, the cross from Dallow honestly made it even harder for him because it wasn't even the best cross. He was like, right, let me just let me bail you out here, bud. Play for different clubs, you think? Um oh. None. There's been other overhead kicks in the Premier League. Uh, I think it's just because they're both United players that, that was easier for them to make those sort of comparisons. Come on. We need the win here. If we want to stay in this title race by even Oh, go on, slip him in. No! What are you doing? He's just gonna shoot, isn't he? Oh, he had to. But Thomas and I are watching this. <laughs> well, thank you very much for joining us, my friend. Um, hopefully, I'm putting you to sleep in a good way, and it's not just through sheer boredom. I don't remember the, the Nicky Bat one. I, I still stand by the fact that Patin Kasami's goal was one of the greatest ever. Holy shit, Neil Diamond now in the three months. Wait, is that only one go? Neil, thank you very much, man. Three months up front? Wow. What's, why has everyone been so nice to me today? Thank you very much. That's so nice of you, man. This is going to be a late equal, a late goal for. Oh, hang on! Oh no, he nearly nipped in and got it. Just do not let them break the lines here. I have a horrible feeling this might be a defeat for us. Right after we sell one of our strikers to them. And admittedly, he isn't on the pitch. I don't think, which has helped. But you, that will help Zeep. Yeah, just brings me down to earth. You know, it's important. Got to stay balanced. This is going to be the longest. I feel like there's definitely a goal on the end of this because the highlight's super long. Grinio. Right, he can't do this himself. He's going to have to let us build this up from the back. Right, here we go. Sally Sen, square it. Please, he's offside, isn't he? Grineo! What a fucking save! It was, Jim. It also was in the same game as an absolute worldie from Steve Sidwell, which might actually be the most underrated goal of all time in many ways, because it was in the same game as Kasami's goal. This is wonderful volley from Steve Sidwell from the edge of the box. I don't know how he won that game. It was just bangers, left and right. Dick drops it through. Grineo, come on, late winner. Literally seconds left in the game. Dick. He's gone for it. Oh, over the bar from Dick. 14 first team players. 10 of them are senior players. That's strange. I know there have been some odd squad building issues. Where are the world? Oh, yeah. Uh, right. Yeah, that was a bit shit from us. I'm very happy with who's been. Just needed that. Just to try to like, just be a little bit further clear of the relegation zone, basically. 10 points above. We're still shit, and despite scoring three times, still can't score goals. I mean, you know. Um, that being said, the first goal was fucking lovely. Um, everything about that was gorgeous. It's just like, we didn't really do that enough in the game. We just lack a striker that can actually strike. And that's the biggest issue. Hamrun comfortably put Zabar in the ground. We stay, well, we're six points from them now. At least the gap back to fourth is six points as well, but yeah, not happening. Oh, we should have Oh, Tony Eboa's one has got to be up there for me. Just because of the is he really not scored in? Jesus Christ. I'm going to try and criticise him. Wait, what? I swear he agreed and then just went, I must have not been paying attention. I saw green and went, ah, oh, good, we're on. And then he just sort of, yeah. Okay. Hmm. We still scored so many goals in this. It's, we it's weird us not scoring in a game, honestly. Now we've got a two-week break, which is going to be annoying as fuck because all those promises are going to expire in the middle of that when there just happens to not be a game. Sebastian Jaffre is going to come in as our new, gook, our new gook coach, which is helpful. Oh, I didn't realise I was accidentally setting him a target. I'm so used to that not having targets in it that I just didn't even realise that. That's fine. Uh... Yeah, nil nil. Not just nil nil in Multimate, nil nil for us. It is our second nil nil of the season, in fairness. Uh, I nearly did a language course again. Sorry, Sebastian. Gary Cahill. Now we're in. 
Come on, we've got Gaza Cahill. If that doesn't fulfill the promise, then... Cooper, I'll be disappointed. Wait, is it? Me. I am familiar with over 600 dance moves. Hang on a bastard minute. Get freaky. Succeeded. Okay, cool. I was getting worried for a second there. Red Bull, thank you so much for the prime. That's really nice of you. And... Uh, you Grigory of... Pukov, yeah. I'm sorry if I've said that incorrectly. I'm sure I have. Uh, thank you for the follow, though. I do appreciate that. The map... That was a... Fu yeah, that... It's... The fact that you could say that, and I know exactly what goal you mean. So it is still stuck in my head somewhere. One of my favourite Premier League goals of all time, actually, though, is Dan F... Is, is Dan with the 39 months. Thank you, Dan. What's the difference between a dirty bus stop and a large crab? One's a crusty bus station, and the other is a busty crustacean. Because, of course... Oh, Neil. Thank you so much, though. Seriously, for the three months. That's really kind of you. I'll see you in the VOD, my friend. Uh, we got a good VOD comments in a minute as well. Um, my, my Probably my favourite Premier League goal of all time, genuinely, is... Fuck, who was it? Stephen Reid. Blackburn against Wigan. If you know, you know. Have we won the league yet? No, we're only in the second season. Um, and we're not going to win the league this season by any means. So that's going to have helped that. He's happy with that. He'll be happy with that soon. He's going to kick off no matter what we do. Oh, he better not kick off if... Our next game's 12 game... Our next game is 12 days away. And he's not going to be able to play in that time. Even though he's played loads. He started nine, nine league games. Oh. There's not being able to drop out of... Um, Hurt Nation. Was, if anything, it makes it better. Because it means that the bigger sides can't drop down either and hurt you. So... I've noticed that it's been better. Elman versus... Oh, that was that lovely dribble, wasn't it? That Stephen Reid one, though, is the hardest I think I've ever seen a football struck. I don't think they will, though. Because I think these are just going to expire. I mean, that's fine. That's sorted. Um, He's got more time for that one, so that will resolve itself. <coughs> See you later, hard news. It's just literally... I've never seen a ball hit as hard as that. Uh, That's fine. Oh, is that the one against... Is it either for Birmingham... Or for Newcastle against, I think, Tottenham? The other Fermi Martins one? Oh, no, Kasami's goal is a phenomenal one, but there's something about that Stephen Reed one that just does things to me. Uh, set loan target now. He won't do that. What's he going to do? Some of Berbatov. Oh, who are these guys? I can't really afford them right now, anyway. Right, okay. Those are still going to be annoying as hell. Jerry Ramirez. Hang on, who's he asked to leave? Wasn't he a guy that we tried to sign and then he joined them instead? Who's a friendlies? Probably not, just because we're playing quite well and I'm trying to make sure that we don't get... Oh, hang on, do you reckon that would count? I could try it. I don't think it's going to matter because it'll be competitive games only, right? Let's play against Munchar. Monster Munch. Uh, these guys are all players that we can't... Actually, I'll just leave those in there for the moment. I'll try and collect some of these so we can have some going into the, uh, <laughs> the next transfer window. The Benteke one. Oh, I don't know if I remember that one. It does ring a bell. Yeah, I think we're just going to get screwed by that. No matter what we do. It is silly, though, that a player whose literal expectation is cup goalkeeper is complaining because I'm not playing him in non-cup games. It's like the game basically decides that cup goalkeeper doesn't actually mean cup goalkeeper. It means player who plays less than a normal goalkeeper, which is just simply not the same thing. It literally is. I don't think anything could be described more than th more of a thunderbuster than that, personally. Oh, God. I remember a goal being scored by a Middlesbrough player at Anfield from a ridiculous... Or it was either... It might have been either four Middlesbrough... It was a Middlesbrough-Liverpool game at Anfield, and it was an absolute walloper. I think he did get miss upset because he missed the first cup game, but then I promised to play him more in the cup games, and I have. It's not my fault that there's not more cup games. <laughs> like, to me, they shouldn't even call it cup goalkeeper then if you have to play them in non-cup. And I can't really afford to play Traore. Oh, it doesn't matter. They're both going to get annoyed at us either way. I love that. We've got two goalkeepers and they're both annoyed because they're not playing enough. It's like, but you're both playing. That's the problem. I haven't changed the squad for this game, so we'll see if that makes any difference, but I don't think it will. We're just going to have to kind of eat it. He wants us to qualify for more cups. We'll open our own cup. That's disappointing. To only win 3-2 against Munshar. And soon will come the complaints. Uh, it's just... I would just like a little bit more logic involved in things like that, right? 
I hate it when they, um, they'll demand a play. To me, it should... Actually, here's how you solve this. Super easy. You'd make it so that the promise doesn't take a certain number of days. It takes a certain number of matches. Problem solved. Literally. That's, that's all it should use. Number of days is completely pointless because... If it's using a number of days, you don't know how many games are in those number of days. What if they get pissed off at you right before a winter break? Like, the number of competitive matches is what should matter, not the number of days that elapse in between. But let's say what's Larry. They're actually going to pay us too. To be fair, we can't really accept that because we have no one else. 15 cup matches. <laughs> Bold of you to assume we'll play that many. But well, he's happy, which is going to help. Back again for more great oh, FM just, content. Yeah. I think you're in the wrong place, Joe. But thank you so much for the two months. It's really nice of you, man. Yeah, literally, it, it should say, of the next 10 matches, I need to start seven of them. Rather than saying, I need an increase in playing time over this next completely ephemeral amount of ma uh, amount of days, you know? It's fine, big forehead. It's, it's all good. I got you. I've never seen you. Wait, you're not in chat. I can't see you. No problem. Amateur Belgians, do they patch it? Uh, which season are you in? Uh, Salty Doggerino? What a great name. Promise runs out while he's on international duty and literally out of your hand. Yep, exactly. All it needs to be is just number of matches. No way the net survived. <laughs> That's incredible, right? Without getting angry. Um, no. Oh, sorry, you can. No, you, you can't do it like without the ephemeral. Yeah, it was the wrong choice of word. Ephemeral was not the right word there. Um, I meant like... Um, Vague, I suppose, is a word, but it wasn't actually vague. It was just a an amount of time that was sort of obsolete, I suppose. Rios is now injured. Yeah, it wouldn't change that stuff anyway. The first thing I'd do in all of those... Arbitrary, yeah. I suppose, yeah, that's probably the better word, actually. Number of matches, effectively just number of days. Yeah, it is, but the number of matches... Is still going to be a number of days, but it's not going to... Most of the time, they'll be like, right, this has to be done in 30 days. You could play one match in 30 days, or you could play six matches in 30 days, depending on how your season shapes up. If it's a number of matches, you'll always get the same amount of, like, actual opportunities to play the player, if that makes sense. Whereas, if I have only have one match in 30 days, that probably wouldn't even... Say you had one match in a 30-day period, and you played them, that still probably wouldn't count enough for an increase in playing time, so you'd be guaranteed to fail the promise, is what I mean, right? Yeah, you've got to bring your thesaurus this chat. Come on. Uh, he's got flu. We'll send him home. A chance to get in the future. Yeah. This is going to, I mean, it's all about to come to a head today. So get used to it. Uh, let's let's dive in. Here we go. Okay, that's fine. So we get a second chance with him. I assume that's just another promise, which we will be able to fulfill this time. 61 days. Okay, 61 days, that's fine. He'll play every game for the rest of the season. It's the different word book, right? Yes! We need another word for it. <laughs> Find some kind of book we can look it up in. X-Men. Yeah, the problem is that Titan Hero, the game doesn't count minutes. It doesn't ca That's another thing I, I feel like should matter. The minutes, the game doesn't care if a player plays one minute in the match or 90. It only cares if they appear in the match. And sorry, no, that's not true either. They have to start the game for it to count as an appearance for the purposes of the promises, as far as I'm aware. Which is, again, silly. So substitute minutes don't count as them playing. All it needs to do is done by the number of minutes, right? Theosaurus! Imagine. Mm. I just want, like, a little bit more information about it. Like, I hate when it says increase in playing time because it doesn't tell you what that means. Oh, sorry, it does, but it tells you in another more vague way that doesn't make any sense either. What's the top rumour? Uh, Cyrus has been introduced to Sutton United's Regan Booty. <laughs> <laughs> Is that just because it's on our shortlist? Regan, buddy. How's it going? Didn't think so. <laughs> he won't talk to us anytime soon. Maybe we'll get a chance. This is It literally just goes through players that are on your shortlist. That, that's all it is. Wait. Actually, he's not, is he? Fuck it. We tried him anyway, right? Can't help. Can't hurt. Steam Wanderers and Sirens over. Why would we loan our centre-back out? Our starting centre-back? Sleemer are getting a bit big for their boots now, aren't they? Not having that. So his ex club. What? Who's ex club? Niger Tornado. Oh, is it? Oh, what? That's interesting. So it's a Nigerian club called Niger Tornadoes. Fair. 
Uh, right, that's sorted. Bring a CD7. This is, to be fair, that wasn't this screen. The one that brought a CD7, I believe, was the one you get at the start of the window. Uh, this one actually wouldn't have had any other saves. Right, transfer deadline day. Let's go. We're not planning to do any business of our own as far as ins anyway, because, like, I want to kind of keep this money in the bank so that for the summer we can really build for a European challenge, hopefully. Not European challenge, for maybe winning a game in Europe. Uh, take part. Let's go. Because we're never going to be able to get any of these guys. Oh, the Niger River, is it? There goes my geography brain. Oh, we're playing tomorrow. Okay. So I think we got through those, like, promises without too much trouble. Uh, Gary Hick. Oh, he's already starting on a coaching course. You'd love to see it. Gas is getting better. Maybe. Right. That took a while. I mean, to be fair, it doesn't matter. With him, it doesn't even matter if he's, like, good or bad if we actually do want to sign him because we could just bring him in as a whenever. Need to attend for the other clubs. Uh, what do you mean? What am I attending? the Cahill era. We are now in it. I hope coaching course... I bet you coaching courses cost like £500 compared to your fucking uh, language courses where we pay the giant evil owl £30,000. Not playing enough even though... Playing much for Salah. Yeah, I... It's all a bit strange, isn't it? Uh, I mean, these guys are all free transfers, so there's really no harm in us bringing them in on trials. Because they might just join someone else anyway. And this will at least increase the opportunities to do that. Last thing we need is another fucking goalkeeper. I've had enough trouble with keepers lately anyway. Part of the pro we always get these issues at the start of a save as well. Because... Uh, we got... Because of the so much squad churn in the early stages. Listed players. I haven't got any listed players myself, have I? So he's coming in. He's re oh, he's snubbed us anyway. What about that guy that was wanting to leave? Milan Selly. I could try and sell him. Uh, okay. Anyone interested? No. I mean, we could try and offer him out, but I don't think that's going to make much difference at this point. He wants to leave, so... Was there another North Korean in there? Lovely. Only 3.6k. Oh, no. we. I don't think our coaching courses cost any money at all. I think it was like £500. It was the language courses uh, that cost stupid amounts of money. Wow, he's very good. He's another centre-back, too. Hot damn. Welsh and truck. Bloody hell. Okay, these guys are actually quite tasty. Not that it matters at the moment because they're all like... Uh... Sam Brotherton. Oh, he's a New Zealander. Are they just all centre-backs? Language courses, really? Yeah, but yeah, and that's not something you can edit in the editor as far as I'm aware. I don't think you can change the price of language courses. I think that's just in the game, right? Might because of the language itself. Oh, they're snubbing us. Right, okay. So why are they being recommended to us? I guess it's because they want us to sign them immediately, but it's like, why would I sign a player I don't know anything about? <laughs> Says man who actively does that a lot. But that's mostly with loans. Um, I guess I could convince him to do that. Happy here. What? 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 I'm happy here? Are oh, you fuck? Hang on, he literally had asked to leave on his profile at the start of the stream. What part of... He... How could you be... He was the one that was asking to leave the club, and now he's happy here. Uh, oh, well, we'll just take him off the transfer list then. Changed his mind, apparently, yeah. And then he gets nerve like, how dare you suggest that I leave this club? It's like, oh, I don't know, only because you were, like, asking to do that repeatedly. Oh, dear. To be fair, he doesn't have the thing on him anymore. So I assume it must have gone away in between somehow. And I just didn't pay any attention to it. 7-1. Wow, we are absolutely f flying in that division. Which I guess is a good sign. Just the plus 43. How many goals have we scored this? 65? That's a good amount. Yeah, he saw his options of none. Oh, oh this isn't where I parked my car. Uh, oh, lordy, lordy. Um, oh, uh, 0407. Thank you so much for the follow. Uh, that's Is that done now? So there's a few little di deals done on the transfer deadline, though. That's obviously not... Oh, it's only January, I suppose. And that's only the top flight. Okay, the finances are... We're still in the positive money at the moment, which is fine. That's kind of what matters at this stage. Just staying in positive funds. As much as we've got that transfer budget, we can't really use it yet. Okay, look. That's frustrating as fuck. Luckily, he's got a... 
another year left on his contract, but that is very annoying because I wanted to try and keep hold of Andrea Kassar for as long as possible because, you know, club legend in many ways already. That is frustrating. But we have no way of keeping him, basically. Oh, I'll be making sure we bring him back as a coach if we can do. Margs, thank you. How's it going, man? Don't know why I said thank you there. Thank you for being here today. I feel like the, the Queen of Genovia. Right. So, so the, the board rate me an A minus. The supporters rate me at C plus. Huh? How? How is we okay? How are we C plus for the supporters? Match fixes were yes, we did. Yeah, that's one of the reasons um that we consider such a legend as Zabar win. Man, Mars were actually getting dragged right back into the relegation places. They apparently are never happy. All their favourites. Oh, they bloody loved a bit of Darbo. To be fair, the support happiness thing is utterly, like, irrelevant anyway. It's just another screen that you don't want to click on because there's no reason to, right? Uh, I've got to keep... Wait, Jean's happy now, isn't he? He's no longer complaining, so I can afford to annoy him again. <laughs> yeah, that's fine. I wish it would, like... Like, if they're completed, stop showing them on this screen or at least give me the option to get rid of them. Uh, That one's fine. That one's fine. That one will clear up because of the other things. Okay. John's going to be here anyway next season. Although, I feel like I should just keep playing him because I do kind of want him to break his uh, goal scoring, lack of goal scoring runs. I guess, okay. Yeah. Bear in mind as well, we're like, we're third in the league. Now, admittedly, and the media prediction was eighth as well. A West Ham at 33. To be fair, Clates managed to sign him at Newcastle along with, who else was it Clates picked up? Hide completed. Wait, there's a new button. Oh, I must have missed it. Hang on. Uh, I'm sure that... Oh, I take it there isn't actually a new button. Oh, you had me going for a second there, bud. I'm going to drop Wallo out because... Well, yeah, he's knackered. Does he have really low... I think he's probably just played a lot. God, I'd love to sign him permanently, but we just simply cannot afford him. Even if we got, like, third in the league, we're not going to... We'll have more money than we did this year, for sure, but it's still not going to be a huge upstick. Complacent. Why are we complacent? That is one thing I will say that is a bit strange about FN24. I don't know if anyone else has noticed this. Players being complacent before matches when you're in the middle of a season right in the thick of things and there's absolutely zero reason to be complacent. I don't remember seeing that sort of stuff in FN20... Uh, well, FM any of the others, really. Hey, Geronimo! Oh, dear. He's in Newcastle. There you go. I guess they've got the cash, right? It seems like an FN24 thing, yeah. And it doesn't, complacency is fine. I understand that. But it doesn't make any sense that it's appearing there. Like, this is a crucial match in the middle of the season. Why would there be any need for complacency from random players? Oh, I definitely do, Lord Richard, for sure. Uninterested mid-game, <laughs> yeah. To be fair, I think players being aggressive at the start of the match is down to, like, literally having high aggression. Do you remember, um, was it Ryan Porteous in our Scotland save, who was just aggression, had super high aggression before every game was marks us through? Slots us home 1-0. Come on, get in. Someone complacent? Yeah. To be fair, being 3-0 up from the first leg, there could be an element of complacency. What I don't really understand for complacency is at the start of a game when Cooper, it's 0-0 in a league game and me. you're in the middle of a season. I am familiar with over just very strange. Good little assist here for Jean, at least. But Marza with his 17th goal of the season. What a man. Uh, Nikar no, Nikar Nikarcon, thank you very much for the follow. How good is Marza? He's so good. He's so good. And thank you. It's a nice sweater, isn't it? It's very warm. And he really shouldn't be as good as he is. Like, his attributes, for me, are actually slightly worse than Granillo. But... Here we are. Those of the Champions League. Oh, uh, yeah, I suppose. It still seems to be a bit... Ugh, dick. Why, bud? Why, why would you do this? Another penalty. Troy has actually apparently done quite well so far, but I've never seen him save a penalty. That's more of the realm of Andrea Kassar. Uh, well, he doesn't need to save a... Oh, come on. As if they're going to fuck it out. Well, that's fun, isn't it? Um, so... So it hits the bar. <sighs> Fucking <it out. laughs> uh, hell. Uh, we're in uh, the... Towards the, well, middle to end of second season. I can't believe we just conceded that. 
The defenders kind of went, ah, it'll be fine. No problem. As now we, God, they love hitting the bar. The letter are actually winning as well, which is kind of bad. Yeah, if we drop any more points, this title race is gone. And we're basically just battling for, well, for which of the top three, th two through four we finish in. Wow, we've been shocking here. Although the penalties kind of made up for a lot of it. We are definitely bottling it a little bit. Flicking it up. John over the bar. Giant bastard. <laughs> which one did you think was giant? <laughs> <laughs> Please be tall. He's only five foot eight, even better. <laughs> oh, definitely doing that giant bastard. <laughs> oh, that's sensational. He shall henceforth be known as Giant Bastard. Right. It's going to confuse a lot of people later in the save, and I can't wait for it. It's going to be the next Toby Harvery. Oh, Jesus. Right, can we, like, at least do something here? We've not even been that bad to start with, but we were great against Marsa, who are admittedly shocking. Right, Azurai, just drop it inside. Oh, just pass it, bro. Please just pass it. I might have to bring on uh, Cater's on the right, but we can swap him over, perhaps. Move Cater over to the right, and then bring on um, Hamadi on the right. Sorry, you know what I mean. S-Link can come off for Sally Sen. I trust the strikers to keep going. Oh. Right. Come on, pull this out. We've not been very good in this game. How big? Uh, he's like 6'1", I think. He's a fairly sizable dick. Right, come on, Undong. I don't know how Undong... I haven't really been paying attention to Undong really so far since he signed. But he's got the height and he's got the... He's a proper tempole merchant for the defence. And that's kind of what we wanted. Just some players like that. We have Dick and Undong. Right, play it through. Let's go. Look at the space in the midfield. Please just pass it. You don't need to do it by yourself, Issa. Right, where's the pass? So, drop it through. Please, Molinar. It's offside, isn't he, surely? Yeah. He runs so far offside there, John. Good finish, but... The pass needed to be earlier. The pass needed to be there. Just into that channel from Moller. This is how we have the tactics set up as well for that exact pass. But instead he just waits and then plays it the other side for some reason. That's not really on Jean. That's just on Molinar. He's got to be doing that much quicker. Come on. Find that winner. We seem to go through these spells where we'll be emphatically scoring tons every game. And then we'll just go on a complete dry spell for three or four for seemingly no reason. Just, I guess, it's just ups and downs, isn't it? Right, Sally Sen drops it across to Molinar. That is surely onside. Get in. Whew. Speed in the side. <laughs> that was a nice goal. Molinar's been really solid this season. Ah, Just built up nicely. Dick again on his right foot. He does love using that right foot. That was just a lovely finish. Right, okay. Big goal keeps us in the tight. Oh, God. Let me guess. We're going to concede instantly from the kickoff. This giant bastard. Oh, he's just thrown the ball away. 20 minutes. Maybe just grab another one here. Ooh, that was dangerous. Okay. No, no. Oh, that was close. Dick has given everything. Okay, fine. We'll get Cissé on for a bit. Freshen things up there. Akinbule. Yeah, Dick's not even pressing here. He's just going to let this guy run straight at him. Huge amount of space. Dick has just basically provided the most... That's an own goal, isn't it? Dick did nothing and Dong did everything. Ah, <sighs> right. Yeah, I think he's just, he's too tired. He wasn't able to get out and really do much to Aristoteles. Another fantastic name, by the way. And then, to be fair, Traore should have had that. I don't know why Traore somehow didn't get it. We're doing okay, FM boss, but that could have gone better for us there. Do you think it'd be a problem if I increased the player in Nope. I mean, it's like I, like I always say, if you're having fun, you're playing the game correctly. Yeah, another set of drop points is going to give Hamrun a chance to go, like, seven, no, eight clear of us. And also, we'd have a get, they'd have games in hand on us as well, and it looks like we are going to draw two all here. That's not ideal. Hibernian are a decent team, but we just weren't very good there. Still two goals scored, I suppose, but eh, just a bit of an icky performance from us in general. Andrea would say, well... I'd like to think he would have done. I'd like to think I would have saved that, frankly. Right, now it's what happens in the games in hand, I suppose. But Hamrun are just going to 
win again, aren't they? They're, they're running away with it. Hibernians are a win... Bloody hell. 5 nil hammer. Yeah, title is theirs, pretty much. I don't see... Big and Kara have got themselves back into things a little bit, but they're not going to chase them down. I don't even know who they're playing on Sunday, but Hamrun are going to run away with it again. We kept pace with them for a decent amount of time. Dick and Dong in Bungle Low. Good. Solid. Right, what about the Sunday matches? Just drop some points, Bika Kara. Keep us in the hunt. Oh, do you know what? Floriana, they may be dog shit this season for some reason. Don't know why. But they have pulled off some weird results. They beat Hamrun, and I wonder if they're going to do us a favour here. Do you know what? We'll take it. It stops them from extending their gap over us, at least. And it's another point for Floriana that drops Marsa right back down to the battle. Uh, is the second tier still going quite well? well? Yeah, I mean, I think Tarshina are looking like a pretty much guaranteed promotion this year. And it's a battle between Mosta, Nashar Lions, and Sengleia as well. Hamrun, to be fair, they're not really the new Haladash, because Haladash came out of nowhere. I feel like, if anything, Zabar would be the new Haladash in many ways. Uh, right, just whack in that that one there because again there's no game second half of the season a random wednesday sunday all right i don't think i've got one for wednesday sunday i do actually but i need to find i'll just do that one for now yeah they're more like ferenc varosh anything weird going on in the lower divisions oh don bosco's lads the top of the uh Gossetan second division at least that'll please big donny is that what i built themselves that's wow Faces in Zaytun. And as a part, uh, what do you mean um, by that? How's he getting on? Wow, okay. Gideon's already scored. Good man, Gideon. Right, please to see. That's lovely. Right, so that's going to hopefully sort all of those problems out. Any free guys in here? No, if that's the case, I'll just leave them in the uh, in the report so we can tackle them in the summer. I some numbers. Thank you very much for the four months. Three. Or three. Either is fine. That's really kind of you, though. I hope you're well. Spawn regen. Oh. Uh, we won't have any... Well, they'll be the same ones as last year. So, none of the ones from season two will have genned yet. If you mean, like, the youth intakes. Typo. <laughs> There's always next month numbers. There's always next month. And Wusu. One of these days, eh? Lacks the club's financial year. Hang on, wait. Given our knowledge that the player is interested in... <laughs> Do you know what? Just <laughs> hear what you want to hear, eh? Let me just read this out to you. Um, Nathaniel Wusi wouldn't be interested in joining Sirens as he feels that the club lacks financial muscle to even get close to his demands. Agree. The demands laid out seem feasible and realistic, and given our knowledge that the player is interested in a move, I expect that... <laughs> What the fuck? We do have Gary Cahill, yeah. Flawless, thank you very much for the uh, continuing of the gifted sub. That's really nice of you, friend. Go on, click it. Let's see what happens. Thanks a lot. See you around. He's just like, what a fucking dickhead. <laughs> What's this guy on? <laughs> What's going to happen, right, is in about three days' time, we're going to get a message that's saying, follow up on your interest in... um. Nathaniel and Wusu. And then it will just say, the player has no interest. <laughs> we'll agree to disagree. <laughs> Imagine if that means he would talk now. Yeah, there we go. That's fine. So Hickens has been recalled. It is annoying to piss off Sparta Prague because we might need some loans from them before. Janos, yeah, we do a little gaslighting round here. Ah. Uh, 875. I think Umusu is a goalkeeper that we could conceivably get this summer if we were to qualify for Europe. And I would really like to just because I want to give them a second chance at being good in one of my saves, basically. Man deserves an opportunity. In the editor, uh, so there is guides for every single thing about that, Ollie, in the Discord. Uh, it depends on what specific thing you're trying to change, but Hadrian has prepared wonderful guides uh, for all of those things in the special... What's it called? It's called uh, Malta... De oh, Malta Changelog, but also specific... What's being tagged in down here? Oh, it's not about the fucking... Uh, okay, that's probably something for the uh, Discord mods to sort out, hopefully. Uh, if not, I'll um, try and sort that after stream. Oh, thank you, Flawless. While in between jobs the last few months. That suggests that you've, you're have you no longer in between jobs. And if that's the case, that's amazing. Congratulations. And if not, 
It's just around the corner. Bring on the, uh, the chain of treasures that I'm using are from the Steam Workshop, actually, Smudge. So I think if you literally just go on the Steam Workshop, you'll see the ones by Mike, and you can just download them in there. In January, new job. Yes, you'll love to see it. That's amazing, man. Mini Sellers, thank you so much for the Prime. And Landcast, thank you for the follow. That's really cool of you guys. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. But yeah, Hadrian's got guides for everything in the Discord, which is amazing. Uh, right, that's the cup. Does that mean we got a cup game soon? Yes, we do. I'm glad that's all sort of coming to a head, a head now. Any, oh, hello. An Austrian? No, not an Austrian. He's a Latvian, Matt. That's even better. I should have guessed by his name, really, but there we move. Uh, those guys will stay on there for the moment, well, except for you, because why are you even here? I'm sorry. You're just not very good. Okay. Yeah, I mean, he might want a good amount of money, but we will see. Uh, wow, he's actually quite a good... Mm. It's hard to know really what is good at this level at the moment. Cahill reports on dick. <laughs> what bloody hell? I mean, do you know what, Gary? Fair play. I'm glad you've brought this to me. It's never going to not be funny. That is some actual decent progress. These training schedules have immediately smacked us. And we are actually clapping it. That's really good. <laughs> Gary reports dick is growing and he's not wrong. You stay on those blue pills, Gazza. It's all going to be fine. Hey, Herring. I'm good, Potsy. How are you, man? Uh, I'm using Mike's ones. It's literally called Mike's training schedules on the uh, Steam Workshop at the moment. I'm going to move over to the RDF ones probably in the summer, but I literally got these and implemented them right before RDF released them. Which I take? Um, whichever one you want, really, right? Whichever one's most fun for you. Right. Uh, we only have one goalkeeper, so that's going to be a problem. I'm going to try... We might as well try and go full strength here, right? Try and take them on. Because if we could somehow knock... Firstly, the money we'd get if we knocked Hammer out of the cup here would be few amazing. And it would pretty much put us in prime position to win the cup ourselves. And the money would be superb. And it would also guarantee us uh, European football. How are you complacent? It's literally a cup semi like, mm. And it, we get to revenge them too. Anyway, I'm not going to complain about the complacency thing anymore. It's clearly just a thing in the game that hopefully they'll fix. I'm enjoying the game too much to care about shit like that. What a sentence you never thought you'd hear me say. God, look at Janos. So handsome. Yeah, literally, a cup game, a quarterfinal against the best team in the country. And they're like, nah, I don't think I can get myself up for that. But for the rest of it, you love to see it, Potty. I hope you're okay, man. Could work out how to import shit. <laughs> to be fair, I I've been watching the development as in of Inferno as both an FM player as an FM editor as well. And I've been very impressed. What are you doing? <laughs> Good Lord. <laughs> FM boss, thank you very much for the prime. That makes up for that horrendous pass there. Actually, the pass was great. The, uh... Wrong keeper. Uh, no, thankfully. <laughs> it's the only keeper we have now. Thank God. That's a good pass. Grineo has actually shoved him off here. Right, come on. Oh, cuts back inside. Grineo! Oh, hello, Pogs. How's it going? How's your day been, my love? I'm sure it's been... Not had any problems today at all. I'm sure your day's gone absolutely fine. That was a lovely little cut inside. Yeah, we, even if we play Andre, it won't make any difference because... Like, he's already said he's going to leave, so we're just going to have to deal with that. He's not going to change his mind on that one. All we can do now is just play Traore. I really think that Nwusu in the summer, if we qualify for Europe and get the right funds together, then Nwusu in the summer is very much a signing I want to make. Watch him be shit again for us, but I want to do it for the memes alone. Pog could have done it. Pog probably could have saved that chance earlier. I'll play the ball in the corner for the last minute before lunch. Uh, I'm a bit confused. Fool me once. Well, yeah. Oh, Christ. Zarate. This is quite nice build-up, annoyingly. And now he's cut inside. Paint seal! It's a good finish from Seth Paints, and we leave. And Wusu with mentoring again. Let's <laughs> not be silly now. Fool me once, literally. Can't do any returns. Oh, that's going to go down well, right? Table's looking good. This is a cup game, obviously. We are... Well, I think we're third in the league. We've been a bit less good lately. But we are... Well, we're in... What are we late february now a relegation with west ham i'm sure he's loving that too and definitely not complaining in any way <sighs> to be fair we've got through more rounds in the cup that than i was expecting Granillo. he loves that cut inside go on have a bang oh. we've earned a decent amount of money from the cup so far as cater's shot is deflected and in we equalize in the cup get in hey the video had a customer shout me don't don't make me knuckle dust them no one shouts at you. Not without you shouting back. Uh, I'm sorry that's happening, Pog. 
Um, that's just kind of shit, isn't it? Time waste before your life. Oh, I see, right? <laughs> I was confused for a minute. Yeah, they can be, can't they? I mean, people just in general, right? Sometimes those people go in the shops, right? Oh, clip top. Wait, he's through. Marzo. Oh, I thought he was going to get. Wait, that dick is just not that down. Here we go. We've actually kind of stepped it up a little bit now. We're giving it a go. We're at least matching them, right? Hey, Roche. The Boots website. Exactly. They'll feel a lot better then. The customer is always wrong. It's true. To a handsome football manager. Oh, no. She cheating on me. That's sick. <laughs> that's that's just what you want. <laughs> Dick Curry says it's the wrong ice cream. Now it's a new Cornetto flavor, bro. Because I'm at How dare you get McDonald's without me? This is unfair. But also, I'll let you off on this one occasion. Because we've got to go. We've got to do the big shop tonight anyway. Because Pog was at work yesterday when we normally do it. Karen says, what? Is it? That's just Twitch being Twitch. I think. Hey, I'm good, Roche. How are you, man? For the same way that Twitch bans Nash are, and will continue to do so, apparently. That's just not great from Dick. And now we've been caught on the break. Oh, God, it's four on one. Right, come on. Just get across. Block the shot. Oh, that's actually quite good defending. He's now let him all the way through. That's surely too wide. Oh, that's just... Oh, no! <laughs> that's so unlucky. We actually defended that fairly well. But they found a way through anyway. It was Wooler with the goal. They're just better than us. Hamrun are just better. Like, the way he covers this off here and forces Phillips to go wide is genuinely good defending. And then when they get to the back post, I thought, oh, that's that's actually fine. They get the block in as well. This is the cup, yeah. Ah, oh, dear. Don't okay with Man United. I mean, I'd take that. Oh, shit. Zarate's now through as well. I think this might be where they just start to exert that little bit more quality. Oh, no, it's deflected. Zarate... What a save from Traore. The defending today, I mean, we're at sixes and sevens a little bit when we lose the ball in the midfield because they are just better than us in general. And both of our strikers are struggling a little bit. But Traore has actually done a solid job of that from a goalkeeping perspective, right? And Dong will clatter that clear, but just punt and chase, apparently. Make up the hour I was like tomorrow. So what time would you finish tomorrow then? Okay, that's fine. We can just grab some pizzas for tonight. I was like, wow, look at 2.71 XG in the first half. Okay. Yeah, we're, we're struggling a little bit. I might even bring on Jean in the second half. I don't think we're going to progressing. Oh, that's fine. That's not too bad at all. I need to get some more deodorant in Tesco's later. I need to remind myself to get some more deodorant. Oh, yeah, no. If they win this game, they have to go and win the cup. As Kone in... What on earth? How has he put that so far away? Uh, oh, that fucking sucks. Um, that, that's shit, Roche. Um, I'm sorry that that's happened to you. We, I'm sure a lot of us have been there. Um, but, genuinely, I, I've i been in that position. And then I, forgot, then I got a pog, right? So, what I'm saying is, give it a bit, and there'll be a pog along. And believe me, your life will be much better for it, right? Everything, the keyboard and the chair. Ah, you mean everything I do. I see. Best balance support supporter profile to maximize attendance. Uh, I don't know what that means. I don't think that was really an issue. I don't think support profile actually controls attendance in any way. It's just some numbers on the screen that, like, aren't really tied to anything, sadly. We all need a pog. We literally do, though. A long game poggy! A movie I would happily watch. Many because it's a rom-com. Clearly. Uh, right, we'll do... What do you... I want to make sure the footedness is solid. Yeah, that'll do. How are we only 2-1 down? Dick's actually been poor today. I, wish we had, I almost wish we had still had Darbo. I could have brought him on too. I can get Sally Sen on. Although swap maybe him and S-Link over actually. There we go. Oh. Trade schedules. Uh, I haven't used them yet, but I'm sure they're very good. It's just another screen. Precisely, yeah. Ah, that's quite okay, Roche. Thank you for being here. But it's like a lot of those support screens. They, they don't do anything. They're just there. And the numbers don't really mean anything. It's like your social following thing in the game. It's just an utterly meaningless number that isn't tied to anything. Kind of like the uh, the new TV deals that they brought in for FM24 that we all got excited about. Luckily, it doesn't matter because we've, we've created a much better system. Yeah, you need a little bit of 4-4 fucking too. I mean, it's not working here, but it might do. Ah, I'm taking some poor today. <laughs> Sign of age, isn't it? Come on, late equaliser. Go to penalties against them and we can maybe... Because I think against them on pens... We might have a chance. Oh, come on, Kone. Drive it across the box. 
How has that not gone in? Wait, we're not done yet. Esselink! Oh my god. What a fucking save. Grunio has been shocking today. We probably should have equalized there. Luckily, Tarshina beating him Gar. Title Charge has sort of been um, on the back burner a bit lately as we've... um Wait, they're not to 10 men. As we've just been dropping too many points lately. And Hammerin are just going to run away with it, truthfully. Yeah, so we're out the cup. They have got a couple of injuries, though, to Paintsill and Christich. So maybe... Maybe there's a chance for us potentially to get the title charge back on... Maybe. It's not likely to happen. You know, it's just not happening. Uh, so what happened there? So to what the hell happened in this game? Chat. Chat. <sighs> this game had four goals in second half stoppage time. <laughs> That's absolutely unbelievable. So... That's actually outrageous. So literally, Ngar equalise in the 94th minute. Sorry, the 91st minute. Tarshi then go back in front in the 92nd minute. Ngar then equalise again in the 94th minute. And then Tarshi go back in front in the 95th minute. They equalised. <laughs> That's insane. Yeah, did they just pull the goalkeeper? Speaking of hockey, did anyone see the... Oh, Christ. It was the Senators versus... Uh, was it Florida last night? Where the ref called a game misconduct for every player on the ice. <laughs> <laughs> Which is unbelievable. Good times. Oh. So Master Schlocker threw. Tarshina threw. And then was it Nashar? Right, Hamron. Now that you're in this position, you better not let us down. It literally, it was. he just goes, it was like two minutes for goalkeeper interference and then a misconduct for everyone on the ice. Everyone got in a fight, but I think there was a bit more to it than that. I only saw like brief highlights, but um, I think there was shit popping off all game and the refs were just kind of sick of them. So they just cleared the ice. You can see the coach of the Senators just looking around me like he was counting the number of players that he had left on the bench. I think they were down to like seven players. <laughs> it literally was, you get 10 minutes, you get 10 minutes. You'd love to see it. Oh, the Corey Perry, Conor Bedard, what happened with that? I did see, I did see something to do with Con Conor Bedard. I was just she's a scrolling hockey talk this morning and it came up. Avs won again. Happy days. Ah. More tribuser was able to what? <laughs> Is our press officer looking tired again? I swear that we always get press officers that look exactly like that. Elected No, he didn't. That does feel like a very Corey Perry thing to do though. <laughs> uh yes, that was um uh he was an American player. But it was in an, a UK game. It was a guy called Adam Johnson. No relation, obviously. Um, he, yeah, he passed away. He took a skate to the throat. That was horrible. That's happened a few times in the NHL, but they've, the player, as far as I know, has never passed away because of it. Um, but yeah, he, he died. Fiona! Robbery that occurred last night. Uh, robbery that occurred last night. Hmm, don't know what you mean. Young Bernard, thank you very much for the follow. The Hawks management. Really? Holy shit was at the game christ Fuller versus wolves uh yeah no i don't know what you mean um i literally don't know what you mean <laughs> i watched the game i just don't know what you mean Ugh. oh this is Jaden, thank like you very much car. for the follow right big this is a huge game uh just what we need another winger being injured superb played a few times for the panthers no way that's awesome any drop hammer and drop points should have won. Uh, you scored less goals than us. And I'm sorry. I, I, Wolves have been on the end of some shit decisions this season. I agree. And I think last night, Carlos Vinicius was very lucky to stay on the pitch. However, I thought every single one of the penalties that was given was a penalty for me. I don't understand what the real debate was about any of them, frankly, for that matter. Um, I think the first one, there was an angle where it looked like he might have got the ball, but then the other angle showed that it was Kearney that touched it, not the defender. So I don't really see what the issue is. Like, And you know I'm pretty level-headed about this sort of stuff. I just don't really see what the big deal was last night specifically. Uh, Wolves this season have had some shocking luck. I just don't believe there was any last night particularly, other than the Vinicius thing, frankly. Uh. Transfer room. Um, yes. Oh, um... I say, I've used it, like, when you say the transfer, I mean, I just use the, the, the system isn't really any different to what it was in previous years, truthfully. It was just, they've just put some different names on it, really. It doesn't really work any differently, other than the hiring and intermediary thing. It doesn't really seem that much different. Uh, right. 
Oh, so this is wolf scare. <laughs> okay. Bicky Kara. Let's go. Um, too far. After that own goal in the last game, he probably does deserve a little rest. Really? I, I hate the fact that like we're doing so well, but, but because we can see the decent amount of goals, it's just like, no, these two are playing poorly together. Although he is kind of... Why would we put an injured player in, right? Okay. So Massey's in. At least Massey's back from injury. Kata. Oh. This is a really important one. Get some loser. Yeah, I just... For me, I, I, when I saw the first replay of it, I saw a touch on it and I went, oh, that's probably the Wolves player's foot. But then I saw the other angles. It was Kenny doing that little flip-flap thing where he touches it to the left and to the right. But, yeah. The ask agent thing about market interest is useful, but the problem for me is that when the clubs then come in for the bids from, that directly exp come from that, you cannot negotiate with them. It's just locked. So no matter what you do, if you try to negotiate, they immediately decline it, which is a little bit annoying, but it's a good way of getting extra bids on things, I would say. Uh, it's like many things, as you say, it's like the first stage of development to something perhaps slightly better, potentially. JC, sorry, JM, how's it going, man? I mean, but I don't know if it is that bad compared to the others. I feel like I only watch this league, really, so I don't know what it is compared to the others, right? Um... Presumption you're desperate to sell. Yeah, but to me, that presumption shouldn't really exist because, like... Or at least let me set that assumption myself, right? I want a little bit more control. Uh, Hibernians win again. Jesus. They do seem to take a long time over things, but, like... Yeah. Right. I just... I'd still rather have VAR and have more right, more correct decisions, frankly, which we do get. Like, people can say, oh, it's worse. It's not, though. It isn't. You get more right decisions than you were getting before, and I'm actually okay with that. Are you worse in England? Yeah, I think you're right. I think, with anything, people want to just claim everything's the worst where they are so they can sort of have some weird, like, standing on that one, right? But it's like when, um... The... You know, there was that short about how, oh, we're going to bring in this new, that stupid Arsene Wenger offside rule crap. And people are like, oh, that's what we need. It's like, you do realise it's the same fucking thing, just from a different part of the body, essentially. It will not clear up anything. If anything, it just makes it worse. Wild that someone thinks that's actually going to fix anything. I'm sure that's not actually going to be a thing, but it's crazy. Uh, fans of the ground. I think part of that is just coming from the lack of transparency and certain grounds don't show the right things a lot of the time because aren't there certain grounds where they don't see anything because they've got no like giant screens I, I don't know if they've installed one at Anfield or not but I believe there's certain grounds like that yes I think like, but it can be improved but everything if you expect everything to be perfect straight away and then you think you should get rid of it because it's not perfect then I don't really understand the point of doing anything ever at that point then because nothing's going to be perfect and if you can make it better, sure. But it takes time to do that, right? And I feel like so, some of the semi-automated stuff they did during the World Cup was actually really cool. And it's definitely a blueprint for what to go on. It might literally just be a down to as simple a situation as the contracts of the people that are actually running the back end of it. Check is happening as it ends. Really? Is it just really slow then? Oh, no. I don't understand why that's so difficult for the transparent. I mean, they are trying with the, that silly show that they have Michael Owen present, but... I don't know if that's the right idea. They're having Michael Owen present it. Steve Reader, thank you very much for the eight months. That's very kind of you, sir. And JM Gamer, thank you for the follow. Bring on the Flugelkamp, Kremler! Scandals to scout in two minutes. Um, basically, it's just that... I think a lot of that's actually coming from your coaches, not your scouts. Because remember, when they're at the club, your coaches are the ones assessing them, not your scouts. So it might be that that's the part of the reason for it. Sweet left hootsies with the 42 Ollie likes. McBurney. Also, that looks like a very nice hoodie. Where on earth did you get that? I got it at the same time I was buying you pants, brother. As you know. <laughs> My shoulders have still not recovered from the violent shaking I received. <laughs> yeah, that's always what I found the, with the problem with a lot of the referees when they had them on, is that they refused to challenge anything a lot of the time. That was always the joke with fucking... Who was it? Um, Who was the guy that they... Oh. Oh, the bald bloke that was always on the BT coverage of things that would just agree with the refs no matter what. I can't remember who it was. 
Like, he used to annoy the shit out of me. He's just like, why are you here? Like, what, are, what insight are you providing? If it, Dermot fucking Gallagher. Yes, that's the one. Uh, Katuki, thank you very much for the follow. Sorry, for the follow, for the prime. It's very kind of you. Oh, no, Peter Walton, actually, is probably the one I'm thinking of, not um, Dermot Gallagher. If Peter Walter isn't bald, then he should be. Not that there's anything wrong with that. But I feel like he's makes him more fraudulent that way. <sighs> yeah, no, it was Peter Walton, I think, that I was thinking of. He was the one from... That used to do the BT stuff, right? The bald ref. Speaking of bald refs, um, Lewis Dunk, anybody? <laughs> I love that that's got him a two match ban. Didn't he call Anthony Taylor a bald wanker? Which is just like, you know what? If you're going to get sent off, you might as well go for the juggler with it, right? Yeah, don't discuss. I think I was thinking of Peter Walton. Uh, right. Bit of yogic hulkery. My pants, brother. Yeah, I'm not wearing my giraffe pants today. I went back to a normal set of pants. Look, I also have pants with other animals on, to be fair. It was a pack of pants. Oh, it was a bald prick that he called him, yeah. Oh, no, that makes sense. I just thought it was funny. Ugh. A felon? That's good. Like, if you go in, you might as well go for it, right? Just to have to prove that he's not bald. <laughs> well, he's already lost on one count. Ugh. If the... If the... if Yeah, indeed. Ugh. Yeah, we just need every referee to be Kalina. Make your neck bigger. Sadly not. Um, or did it? It is a question we will solve over the course of today's stream. Right, this is a really important game. And Grineo... No, I'm going to go with Jean. I trust... I want him to get that goal, and I feel like he can. Ants, pants. No ants, sir, per se. I think there was giraffes... It was like African animals. So like your giraffes, your rhinos, your... You know. Animals that are in and around Africa. If you're Andy Townsend. Oh, let's see. Boom. Maybe just allow for... I just... Like, yeah, but... Everyone says that, and then would happily see their opponent's goal disallow for the same thing because it means that the rules are applied fairly. And I'm just... At the end of the day, I just want to see a fair game with a team that deserves to win wins based on the rules that are out there for football, right? If you're offside, you're offside. If you're not, you're not. <sighs> Never another clean. I know. I just want a, a referee with like big shouty energy, like way more authority. Because a lot of them, they don't feel very authoritative most of the time. I feel like referees in the nineties and early two thousands had so much more authority in general. Oh, what a goal! Almir Azarai, and we lead away at Birkikara, and this could be genuinely important. If we win at Birkikara, it wouldn't put us back in the title race per se. But look at this: just cuts inside, an absolutely beautiful effort. Nobody messed with Kalina, no. Exactly. Turn the fuck up. I think they do. They really do. They do look kind of similar, actually, now that... Oh, God, that's... Not, I'm not going to be able to forget that now. Cheers. <laughs> we do... We move back above them as well with this result. I say result. With this current situation, it would also put us back to only six points behind the top. Staying in it. As long, look, Rich, literally, if we just don't come fourth... I'm happy. If we come third this season, finish behind Birka Kara, it is what it is. Just no fourth place. Marts are turning inside. Oh, mother of God. Lucas Marza. 19 goals this season. Have we just scored the same goal twice, basically? We're 2 0 up at Birka Kara. That is an absolute bollock of a goal in a good way. A real perfectly shaped bollock of a goal. Remove much of the enjoyment because people don't celebrate goals anymore. I, I just, I don't understand the logic of that because people then just celebrate twice in fact which surely is just also i've certainly never seen anyone not celebrate a goal um i, I don't know if anything you get m way more chance to celebrate because you get the potential you get the opportunity to cheer a non-goal as well I, I don't know like i personally as a fan of football i just want to see the game refereed in a way where the right results are had so if there's anything that you can do that will enable that then i'm i'm all for it personally I have not celebrated goals due to Val. Well, that's on you. Um, maybe you should start. Be more fun. <sighs> when most goals are scored. Right, but wouldn't you do that with any goal? Surely that isn't going to make any difference, right? Why would you not look over at the assistant ref? With What does that got to do with VAR? The assistant referee has nothing to do with VAR. He's just the referee on the pitch, right? There's loads of games when there's no attention on the referee. People just seem to forget that because they only ever want to talk about the bad stuff and just ignore the games when the referees don't do anything wrong and it's just a normal match of football it's actually you get to you get Sheldon Freud a cheering now 
more delay calls because they don't want to stop play for a close call. Right, fine, but I don't understand what difference that makes. If it wasn't on side, it wasn't on side. Like, <laughs> ah. Uh. Trying to bunch, but well, yeah, I bet. For, well, that's another thing as well for like kids that are trying to get into refereeing and stuff. Now I've heard that. I've heard that, Rob. It's true. I, I was told it earlier, which makes it a fact. As we now concede that goal, I think that they should definitely take some of the stuff from rugby, though, with the mic'd up referees. To, at least not so the referees can be heard at all times, but so they have the ability to actually speak to the crowd through like the way that rugby uh, officials do. That I think would be better in a way. But no, I agree, Daz. I think stuff needs to be done on the match-going side of things to improve that situation a lot. But that's things that they can do easily, and they really should be. Can't be broadcast because I swear, but why, how do they do it in rugby then, right? H how do rugby refs manage to complete uh, talk like that out loud without... It, they don't swear in rugby. Well, then maybe they should be booked for swearing in football for that exact reason. Fuck it, right? Bring that culture in. And people say, like, oh, they get booked all the time then. Okay, good. And then they stop doing it. Just, just stop them from swearing then. But that's my point. Then they should start. Be, they should. This is how you start to get them to respect the refs, right? Surely. Independent VAR refs, but then independent from what? Like they're all referees, surely. Uh, you mean like like new referees that are trained solely as VAR that have nothing to do with the rest of the referees? <laughs> Microphone West McCauley. I reckon all players should wear microphones at all times and I should be able to listen to them. I want to know what they're doing when they're saying like this, you know? But that's my stance on all of that stuff is like when they say, my favorite example of this, and this is the one that always seems to just shut those people up, is the, um, you know when you see corners when a player is just being pulled the shirts constantly and it's somehow not a penalty, right? And they say, oh, well, if you start giving penalties for that, that's, <laughs> if you start giving penalties for that, you'll be getting 10 penalties a game. And it's like, yeah, you will for a bit, but then they'll stop fucking doing it, won't they? Like, I can't believe that was just given as a penalty, by the way. Like, Dick has just slid in and win the ball, possibly. On board camp, yes, like they had in those friendlies pre-season. That was dope. It's Javara from the spot. And it's saved by Treore. Justice is served. Like, Dick, that was a perfectly comfortable tackle for Dick. And how are we winning this game? We are truly mugging them off. No, we've actually seen quite a few pens saved, to be fair. Um, at one point, our goalkeeper, not him, um, Kassar, actually saved three penalties in a row. Like, in, obviously not in the same game, but in three separate games, he saved three in a row, which was dope. Ah, oh, shit. I feel like a two-all draw, honestly, given the way that this game is. Don't you dare concede another penalty, Dickie boy. That's a really nice... Hour. Oh, what a block. Oh, my God. We are really treading a fine line here. I think that might be his second or third oh, just, just let it run out of play dick come on I agree Jim I reckon they should all be able to swear loads and also what is this thing like, it's just words who gives a shit good ta that was that was actually more of a penalty probably than the other one it is a bit of Scott Stapp isn't it bit of, oh look at the space over wide go on round the, round the side use him Hamadi oh it's over the bar that was a good chance for us just play all the games after the watershed. Yeah. I love it when you hear like a random like shout from the crowd. And it's just and then every single time we'd like to apologize if anyone heard any unsavory or they used to say like fruity language, which is always fun. One last chance for them to get an equalizer against us or for us to score a late one. Don't lose the ball here, Samassi. Just play it across the pitch. I said, keep it moving. Good. Slow it right down. There you go, Dick. Draw the player in. Oh, Christ. Oh, Christ. Right. Come on, Dong. Sensible football now. Nothing. Uh, 30 seconds to go. Do not bugger this up. This could be a massive win for us in terms of getting second spot. Oh, no. We're... Just hold the ball, lads. Oh, there's loads of space. Please, not with the last kick of the game. I beg of you. Coppola, into the box. Fuck. It's an own goal. And Dong scored another own goal. That is Ndong's second own goal. Oh, <laughs> Bro has literally scored two own goals for the club already. He's only been here a month. Oh, God. Yeah, he's tried to... It's just clipped off Undong. And that's cost us the win in the last second of the match. Oh, dear. RTY, thank you very much for the prime. I... No. Oh. 
Wrong button. Ah, oh, dear. Yeah, I think Dick definitely did that. I mean, we didn't deserve the win, but bloody hell. A second... I think that might be a second straight game for Dong with an own goal. <sighs> yeah, that's less than good. Yeah, Bro is determined to, like, sabotage us, apparently. Yeah, he certainly isn't the perfectly shaped bollock now. Yeah, so that, that was our chance to go back above them. And it's now only a four-point gap back to Zabar. This is getting more uh, squiffy than I was expecting. Oh, dear. Anyone done this? Yes, they have, Springtide. We just need to find a guy called Bungalow and it's all sorted. Oh, good. Kamara's also going to be suspended for the next game. Terrific. Mm. Actually, is it two successive games? No, it's not. In the last two league games, we've conceded equalizers through an Ndong own goal. We've also not won a lot. We've actually drawn our last three games in a row in the league and not won in our last four in all competitions. And now we get the letter at home next. Watch we'll us not qualify for Europe. We need to just pick it up a little bit. We get a little break. I'll tell you what we need right now, actually, is a friendly against a proper cloddy team. Right. Where's Dingley? <laughs> there you go, lads. We're going to play against the Dingers. Harv with the 39 months. Right. Here we go. 39 months watching this pathetic little man from near blue water play with his pathetic little computer men. Shameful. Disgusting. Why do I deserve this? Daddy True. card. I want you to punish me. Bring me to blue water, tie me up and shove Sabati men up <laughs> where the pastor resides. Sometimes I sleep with one eye open. My one down below. Merry Christmas and love to the family. Question. Home alone mum. Awful person. Yes. Oh, this isn't working. But also, can we just car. talk about Sabatio? <laughs> Mummy mans, thank you very much for the follow. Ah, uh, gotta get them up the Sabatio. <laughs> I bet you weren't expecting that. Oh dear, I don't know how you got that through stream, Nana, I'll be honest with you. Uh, right, that's a song request. That's a song request. Hopefully this all works, by the way. Bungalow. If we find a guy called Bungalow, then the day is just done. Nah, what about Bungalow? Oh, I tell you what. We could get players called Bungalow, so we could have Dick and Dom... If we can find a guy called Inda or Ender, we could have Dick and, Dick and Dong Ender Bogalo. That could work. It's close. It's possible. I'm a strange little man. It's we're all strange little men in the truth. Yeah, there's gonna be like there was Ender Stevens, weren't there? And I'm sure he's still around. Oh. We could have him Bong and Dong. He's Maltese. Wait, does that mean that? Yes. And Bong. He's 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 a Maltese international. Homegrown players. Just thinking of I'm thinking of Europe next year, despite the fact that so far we are in the European spot, but you know, a lot can change. What's the betting that we actually end up um coming forth again and somehow Hammer managed to bet piss up the cup situation? It just feels like an inevitability. Uh Enrique Araujo. There he is. Needs to change his name immediately. God, he just gets better with every version, doesn't he? Season two already. Yes, we are. Yes. Um, so already, but like we've been making reasonable progress, right? Yeah. So he looks like a, that would be a really solid player if we could get him bomb. Plus, we're going to need the um, the homegrown players, hopefully, anyway, for Europe next season. I recognise this sort of. Oh, it's, oh yeah. Someone's requested this before. Uh, Savio. I feel like that's going to bring up a lot of players. Oh, apparently not. Oh, well, it, it has, but I am assuming you're meaning the uh, the PSG dude. Oh. Dig in a box, that works too. There's a lot of things we can do with it, you know? So yeah, there's Savio, who has played a grand... Wow, man needs a career resurrection at this rate. Yeah, one game for PSG. After it's quite a cheap deal, I suppose. Job cock solid. It's not quite cock ringling, but it's up there. Hey, Strongo! <clears throat> uh, Bungalow. It could work. But probably not. Have you heard of... <laughs> Can I interest you in Paolo Dybala instead of your Bungalow? Chocobar. Well, we don't have Chocobar. We might have Chocobar, actually. But we do have Chocolate. Oh, yeah. We've got... Well, obviously, Gabriel Chocobar there at Tempoli. But... 
more importantly, obviously, there is also Chocolate, uh, who plays in Malta, or he did. Uh, yes, we can, uh, because Cap is now, in theory, working. I have to. I still have to type in David White because the game is weird, but yes, he is now American. Unfortunately, that means he lost his work permit, so I don't know how that's going to work. Have I got you on the keep of refinement? No, I haven't. So we're all good again. Paraguayan Youngster. Oh, that's um, Fernando Ovalar. There's old Cappy. We don't know much about him yet, but maybe he will uh, leave the club because he can't get a work permit and we can uh, shelter him in Malta. He's got okay jumping reach, actually. Maybe. He feels solid-ish. I haven't really had much attempt to try it yet, but I suspect that it is going to be a little bit more hard, potentially. But we're going to find out, right? Because we're going to have to do that in order to get homegrown players for Europe. Uh, we've got loads of Irankuda like tons of them so i don't know which one you mean but there's 10 of them are they all oh wow they've all got different nationalities burundi rwanda somalia tanzanian dude actually at uh, arsenal three games which has he he bloody has he's played three times in the championship oh nestory hang on a minute Caps played three times in the championship at 16. Is that just FM being FM? Ooh. Yeah, Ever Ovalar is just not the same as he was. I wonder what that's about. With Is it just FM being FM again? Uh, what the fuck? Oh, not so... This is that, that thing people were talking about the other day that I just never experienced. Because, again, my lack of managing in England. It's gone well. To clear for an African, to be fair, he's got two different nationalities so he's likely to do so um but who else would he declare for because he is presumably from tanzania or burundi right uh winkle there's bound to be a couple of winkles knocking about how much is he selling for oh okay there isn't actually a winkle but there is winkleberry football complex home of basingstoke town oh did i click on the wrong dude can he go australian uh oh yeah Holy shit. It's all right. It must be a third nationality. Stays in England long enough. He can have that as well. Why not? Collect them all. Uh, Paul Ennis. Uh, no Paul Ennises. I'm not sure who that is, unfortunately. Basingstoke giving us all the good shit. Uh, boom. Right. I'll refund your points. Don't worry. Gabriel. There's... Let me just do the full name. P oh, I see. Good old Pianis. There's a Igor Gabriel, but not an Igor Gabriel, unless it's this one. Which which one is it? There's, there's two that kind of sort of... Uh, kind of what we're looking for, but also not. Or maybe there was actually a player called Igor Gabriel, and this is actually neither of them. So I'm guessing... Does he mean the day boss? Oh, really? Who does he play for? Oh, okay. That wasn't what I meant to press. Uh, uh, no Ben Gale, sadly. Uh, that's a song request. We're good there. And... From Penn Island? Benjamin Gole. Da. You never know. I think that would be really interesting to see ex-professional players do that. To the J-League. Ah. If he's in the J-League, maybe it's just because J-League stuff, maybe. Because I don't know if they'd finished sorting all of that stuff out when we actually started this save. Hmm. Goalkeeper crisis for Bowser. Okay, you'll have to hear. Should have worked. Wait, does he? Yeah, but he's probably just not in my database, Stewie. Oh, did I spell it wrong? Ah, that's my bad. Um... Ben Did I put Benjamin? Huh? I'm hang on. You said I wrote Benjamin Oh, is it Benjamin? Uh I'm not sure. Either way, I don't seem to be able to see him. Uh, bubble! Thank you very much. Thank you, Mum, for the thirty eight months. You love to see it. Love to the fam. Football players as referees would be very interesting, yeah. Without a doubt. 
Yeah, J League is, I think, now all sorted out, isn't it? Because it was there were some weird issues with it at the start. Just noticed the typo. Oh, that was strange. So Sirens with a 5-0 win. We'll take that. That'll help with the confidence. Luckily, we've got no injuries. Because we do kind of need to start winning. Like we do. Or just human colors. I believe they do. But I think often they'll just sort of disappear into the ether. Most likely, anyway. Can't edit it in the editor as they forgot to add it to existing nations. Oh, right. Okay. I spent an hour and a half yesterday um, working on a new video idea, which is where I'm going to retire every single player from international football who has a cap <laughs> to basically just start with fresh national teams and no one else is allowed to be called up. <laughs> so that's going to be a fun one. It took me a while, uh, but I have so far gone through and done... No, dicks out! That's not good. Oh, it's going to be super fun. Yeah, it took me an hour and a half to go through because I had to do it nation by nation because you can only edit 500 records at once from what I could see. So I had to go nation by nation. Do you know, South Africa have got 220 players in the game who have at least one international cap. That was more than 60 more than any other nation in the entire game. What are they doing in South Africa to have that many players with international caps? It's crazy. But yeah, so that's going to be a video. I'm going to try and... um. It's, it's just an obscene amount. The rest are all like... Do a lot more. You just have to change the number of records. Oh, really? Okay. Well, that's wasted a lot of my time. But... <laughs> I spent like an hour and a half doing that yesterday. Just got, I had it filtered by each nation with anyone who had a cap. So I'm going to retire them all from international football and then basically see what happens in the World Cups and stuff with these like newer, much worse sides. I want to see who gets like England caps. <laughs> nice one, Hadrian. Yeah. Yeah, I think it's going to be really cool. It's just a video I was... I had an idea in the editor and I went, you know what? I'm going to just do this rather than be like, Hadrian. So yeah, expect to see that soon. Going to be kind of smash it again in December. Right. Uh, that's unfortunate for Dick there, but what can we do? Hey, I still managed to get it done, in fairness. It just, I did it the hard way. Uh, a <laughs> Sirens lose Dick through injury. It's just, we're going to have such fun. It won't be non-league players, but it'll be like, it'll mostly be Premier League players that I nearly sent them on another one there. Hey, it's only 18 grand this time. But we only have 1,000 in the bed. In the bed? <laughs> you got 1,000 in the bed, chat. Uh, I don't believe so, Harv. I think if you hard code retirement for them from international football, they will not get called back up again because it's already happened at that. So I've set the retirement for the past as well. So they're already retired because it's something that Matt used to do in the showdown databases to prevent um, random international call ups for players that were in our squads. Who was that guy we really liked? Oh, no, it was the other guy, wasn't it? No, X out. He will have to drop Harry Maguire, yeah. It's going to be an interesting video, I think. The only ones that I've noticed, I've had some trouble with certain nations so far, and I don't know why, because when I select all the players and go to the edit screen, for some reason, the options for certain nations don't seem to have certain options. I think it's because I'm probably selecting a player that has something weird about them, so I'm going to have to go in and look at those ones a bit more um, in detail. But it was players like the Maltese players, the Faroe Islands, Bermuda. Certain ones just wouldn't let me do it, but I'll have to have a closer look. I kind of ran out of time yesterday when I was looking at it. Oh, dear. Totally resume flashlight training. Oh, it could be... Yeah, I had it filtered by players. So it was only... The job was set to player, but it might have been like there was some like... Um, well, dual nationality shouldn't matter because the players... I had it filtered by the nationality. So I was just selecting the players themselves. But I suspect it was probably getting in some like player managers or something that was causing issues. I'll, I'll have a look after stream myself because I might be able to fix it. And I want to see if I can fix it myself because I'm trying to be better. But that's going to be your video for next week because obviously Thursday we've got the recap video um, once we finally finish the season here. And then on Friday, I've got a load of Adobe stuff I need to update like massively. So I have to do a load of backing up and stuff and hoping that everything doesn't break. So that's... Uh... Also, speaking of Adobe, they're doing a massive offer on Creative Cloud at the moment, um, which is dope. If you're, if you're one of those people that has no choice but to use it, then it's 50% off for a year is not bad. But I would still massively recommend DaVinci Resolve to anyone instead. But I'm stuck in the ecosystem. Right. That is a, a helpful result, actually. Oh, no, it's not. <sighs> it's, Mas it's Master Slock. We oh, Master Slock are playing Hamroon. You'd love to see it. Save some cash over a year. Yeah, it fucking would. Uh, it was like £28 a month was the one I managed to get. It was 
which is actually not bad and i can expense it anyway so it's just nice to have but it's just less of an expense than it from the fucking 56 pound a month because they've got some of the new um ai stuff in it too which is kind of interesting um right we need ham to actually we kind of just need them to start beating everybody now that top because we're only two points above them now and we're playing bloody valletta and we're going to be missing both oh god this is not ideal i've got a job jean he's not scoring we'll solve him later but that's not ideal right time for a p and a whiz quiz and let me just get a, a sensible song available for us uh i don't like going on away on copyright free music we're gonna find something a bit of a banger that'll do i don't remember what the song is back in a sec friends just gonna relieve myself and whatnot I'm the Pope. Cooper, take off the Pope hat. The answer was, of course, Maurizio Solis. I got the last Beppis in the fridge. Polk's going to be so annoyed at me if I forget to put a load of water in the fridge for later. Yes. You'd love to see it. That felt like it was a slightly tough one for you, but apparently not. Ah, uh, Wait, Dingle, I, surely that isn't a first. Then again, if Screamer is, right? Treat it like the customers. Exactly, yeah. Well, there's more down there. I just didn't have time to put... <laughs> okay. Where's the dingle fit? Oh, go on, Wales. I didn't have time to put another set of... Like, another eight back in the fridge. I'll do it after stream. I'll remind myself. Remind me when we leave... When I finish stream, remind me. Put Beppis in the fridge. And I won't forget. I'm notoriously forgetful. Hence why I keep forgetting to buy deodorant. <laughs> I've been using, like, I think we have to, like, put the can at different angles to get any to come out. That's how desperate I am. <laughs> I'm going Tesco's later. I'll be fine. Multi save, yes. Very fun. Uh, okay, I already set the squad up. Let's go. Oh. Oh, we're getting a... Okay, that's what I like to see. Encouragement. Good. Beppis in the fridge. Deodorant. Sorted. Avatary Bluebirds. Avatary... That, yeah, I mean, just doing it in Wales in general. Provide... If you're using, like, a basic, like, a base database, that is going to be crazy tough. Uh, as Alice found out last year. Right. Okay, not bad. Not bad. I love that this random region always ends up on the bench for us. Yes, Sammy! Thank you very much for the 21. Oh, it's Santa Lucia. Started with Star Lucia. Been fun so far. How's that going? Because they have been really bad in the second season of this save. Which has been fine for us, but less good for them. 
Are they still dead bottom? Yes, they are. They're, yeah, they're struggling. From Scotland. Yes, Edinburgh. Um, well, Edinburgh and Fife, but yeah. Mostly Edinburgh. Broke last week. Yeah, indeed, yeah. Uh, to be fair, a bit of... It's just, it'll be extra cool deodorant, so it'll stop me from sweating. Not that I sweat much lately, because it's so fucking cold everywhere. <laughs> Becky Carrot are already winning. Oh, it's not really, we just we just need to win. From the Glasgow Fair, my dad lived in... Well, he used to commute to Glasgow for a little bit. He, when he was... um He worked for the student loan company for a bit, and he was basically stayed with his sister during the week, and then commute from Edinburgh to Glasgow to go to work. Cup first season. Holy shit, that's extremely impressive. Was this is this in the new version of the database or the old version? A Wusu. Hang on, that's our former player. That's the guy we had last year. I didn't realise he paid for Valletta now. Still a fairly solid start. Hold it for next year. Yes, it is, yeah. Hmm. We're looking okay. But we are missing some quite key people right now. Hello, Alice, speak of the devil. We haven't managed to have a single shot on target in the first half for Daffer. I, I wish I could, but he, he was only a contractor there for a few months. Uh, right, that was a shit first half from us. Scotland will be fun. I mean, to be fair, Scotland just seems to end up building its own nation in most of these. How many games left? I think this is going to put us down to six left. But we need to start winning them because we've drawn three in a row in the league and are just dropping points too often now. We need to get a win just to get us back onto winning. And we'll have some slightly easier games soon, but we need that first one as... Yes! Rodrigo Granillo. Cater has been a good signing for us. I really do like him. Straight after halftime, literally from the kickoff, basically. We've got it. What did I do this time? We were talking about your Wales save last year. That was really good from Molinar. Just shrugs his defender off, and then Cater just takes his man on. Really nice goal. Just that extra bit of dribbling ability just drops it across. Granillo with a tap in, but hey, he had to score it, right? Right, good, important goal. Keeps us in the hunt. Oh. That would send us to, what, 39 points? But Master Schlock are playing Hamrun later, and we need that win. Although, if they draw, it would suddenly pull us back into the title race, I suppose. Oh, oh no. I reckon they're going to do some fancy shit here rather than just taking a straight-up shot. Oh, maybe not. Maybe not. Oh. Kone's not had the best game so far. I was going to say he might be the first... Actually, yeah, we got Azurai. Okay, we're actually... Other than Cissé, but we've really... Other than Larian, I'm not going to bring him on. I'm fairly happy with the way this game's going so far. The midfield's doing okay. I might just leave it with the one sub right now. Uh, we don't know the date for the youth and takers. Obviously, it, it varies, but it's April. It said April sometime in April, or every year in April. So what should, oh, yeah, most of my family are hips fans that support football in Scotland. They're all hippies. Come on, Mars. I've just bang one. Oh my god, I thought that was in. Well, I'm really tired by changing it. Actually, unticked on them. Maybe? But. True, it could have been. I'll have to have a little look. Basically, I, I made a note of all the ones that didn't work so I could go back and investigate those ones a little bit closer. But I was running out of time in the day to actually um do that. So I thought, all right, that's enough work for the day kind of thing. Right, if we get this win, this would be huge. Also, we're definitely going to finish with a higher points tally than last year. That's a good performance in the end, honestly. We'll absolutely take that. Right. Now, he said it's from Glasgow. I mean, maybe he just, yeah. Maybe he just lives in Glasgow. Oh, hello. What's that? You won a match against a player you previously sold. Good to see. Okay. Right. Master got a point that might help them. Oh. I can't believe they won the cup last year and now look at them. It's a question of what happens in that last... That We need that result to... Oh, God. That is the last thing we needed. Master Schlock now go fourth with a win over Hamrun. And now we're only... Well, we are still four points above Zabar. But four points above with six games to go. Yeah, Valletta have absolutely shat the bed. We're actually only five points off the title again now as Hamrun have started hemorrhaging... Not hemorrhaging points, but dropping a few. Who have we got left? Oh, Christ. Floriana away, Santa Lucia away, Goodyear at home, 
That's a really good run of matches, but the two of them are away from home. If we could win against Santa Lucia and Goodyear, that's crucial. The, the Zabar game away is absolutely massive. And then we actually finish off against 10th and then 6th. It's not bad. Oh, thank you, Lowe's. I'm trying my best. Title, I think, is still not really a concern. Who is the cup? Semi-final is Tarsheen Hamrun and Sleema Masterschlock. Okay. So if Masterschlock were to come fourth, it actually wouldn't matter. So that might actually help. I'm well, not that it makes much difference. It does give us a slight bigger chance if they get there instead of Zabar. I'd much rather Zabar get into Europe, though. Because I feel like they're... The, then again, they are in the most debt of any team in this league so far. Potentially. Good result again there as per... It's just nice for us to get a win, right? It's another 14 day gap for us here as well. We are bombing through. Wow, we, I, I kind of like this second half of the season. It really does allow you to just like rest out your players. Uh, except we now have to. Oh, it's a Sunday. Let me try a Saturday game here. That should freshen. Yeah, there we go. Let's play against. Uh, who are we going to play against? Let's play against uh, Tar Spiech. We'll play against Spiech. <laughs> Tar Spiech. <laughs> And yeah, there we go. Did to a lad. <laughs> Those bastards. Let me get that in as. Oh yeah, it's just normal, isn't it? Cool. What's the debt? It's like three hundred thousand, three hundred eighty-two thousand. So they're in the most debt. Balzana one hundred thirty-four. Big Kakara have got a decent amount of money actually. Floriana, they're because they're finished last year. Good year from the cup, I assume, last year, and also a little bit of European money maybe. They're fine. Zero are okay. Hamrun, Hamrun are absolutely loaded. Like, they're the only team, I think, that could eat a new stadium right now. Yeah, it'll be their cup cash. Which makes me think that... um, Who's that lot that are in the cup that are doing... This cup run here for Tarshin must have really helped them out financially. And even more so, who was that team? Was it Mgar? Yeah, they're in great shape right now so i wonder if i mean they're third in the league but i reckon next season i wouldn't be surprised to see them get promoted because they'll have a lot more money to use because of that cup run they had okay any surprises tarsheen yeah i think they're pretty much it monster and tarsheen looking like the ones tarsheen are just some cool kits my favorite kit though in the league so far is the slima wanderers away kit look at that it's so nice Mongo ah yeah they were the ones that had the mongolian players much like that team that had random um oh was it the random estonians because they had an estonian member of staff their assistant manager i believe was estonian oh haitian from north texas if tarshin take the cup well, at least they'll be top flight next season i suppose but this is why we have to make sure that we don't finish fourth we have to come third really to avoid any hilarities um, so, oh shit, yeah, I would not use that file, uh, Gluyans. That file is an old version that I haven't updated. Basically, I don't really have a file for people anymore because with the fact that we had to restart things and it had to start from the second season, the only save file I had from the beginning was the one that has all the pre-programmed transfers that I made. So I would not use that save file because it's an older version of the save that has some issues caused by an FM update. I need to remove that, actually. I don't. Yeah, that's definitely the old one. Yeah, I mean, the file will work. You'll just have a lot of cash. Because of that. I mean, it, I think it was still going to be a bit... I'm, I'm honestly kind of glad that thing happened because I think it was still going to be too high even if we didn't have the issue. How about the update? Basically, it, 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 it fixed something which then broke something and it meant that the teams were getting like three times the amount of TV money that they should have been. And it was just... Yeah. It wasn't going to be as... It wasn't going to be fun. Because it was going to be way too easy to just sign anybody. Whereas now, to give you an idea, at the start of this season, we had a £20,000 transfer budget and like 1500 in wage available. In that other version of the save file, we had about a million pound transfer budget and like 15 k in wage budget available. <laughs> Which for me would have just been not that fun. So I'm so glad that we were actually able to fix it in the way that we did. Uh, oh, a couple more guys. Why not? Can't go wrong there. Maybe they'll get picked up by the others. I've noticed that outside the transfer winners, the other clubs don't seem to be quite as uh, forward about trying to pick these guys up. Basically, got one. Yeah, unintentionally, obviously. Um, 
this is much more for me the fun i just difficult is fun for me like being in a situation where we are having to manage the finances and be very careful about it is just way more fun for me doing badly <laughs> which one's your home tail Alice? uh i can't believe i was wasting money on the coaches doing it as well and bong ah and bong is the one i if he's free and we can afford him which we can provided he doesn't want anything stupid yeah i do i like i said i'm gonna mention this in the video tomorrow but i i really do apologize to anyone that went really deep and felt that they couldn't turn back it's one of those situations that you just don't expect right yeah we had to play it safer because of the issues we had but then we actually found some ways to overcome that which we were then able to implement with the newer version it's that homegrown molteness about him regular starter well you're not gonna play as an attacking mid right winger because we don't use that role yes that that is a straight up yes from me you just lock that in and lock that in with it all right five seven five there we go that's totally worth it to me because he's a multis international admittedly not currently but he's yeah the zero uh dvd i don't know what that means oh another injury jesus christ yeah this gives us like and he gives us a homegrown player for europe for next season which is just one less player that we're not going to have to leave a space in the squad. Yeah, he's trained in Nation, yeah. Um, I, I checked him before we um, trialed him in the first place because when I saw that he was Maltese, uh, you'll see here, uh, trained in Nation, Malta, trained at Club Hibernians, which is the most important thing. Uh, daily reading count. Daily reading count. What's that? He has brothers, does he? Let's get the brothers in. Oh, he does. Emmanuel and Bong. Oh, he's awful. Place of Rhapsody, though. And he's just... He, unfortunately, he's Nigerian. Hey, Flu! And then Paul and Bong, who does play for Malta. But he's at Birkikara and on quite a lot of money. Who is this for loan? Hmm, maybe we can get him on loan next year or something. Can't go wrong with that. Oh, we haven't done um, Matt Reeves the VOD comments yet, have we? Always time for that. So apparently... Um, and now, actually, I looked this up at the exact same time. Uh, well, not these. But I was looking this up last night. Uh, so Sirens are playing the weekend that I am in Malta. At home as well against Kashira. <laughs> on the 25th. Uh, Malt Mar Malt Half Marathon's on the 25th. And would you believe it? The only fixture that could possibly have conflicted with that is the, is the fucking Sirens game. The only fixture that conflicts with it is the bastard Sirens game. So might not be doing the Half Marathon anymore. Because <laughs> this is more important. Literally, so the half marathon starts at like eight fifteen. So I'm not going to finish that in time to get to the damn game. Yeah, they postponed the game for me. Just run real quickly. Yeah, I'll just set like a new half marathon record just so I can get to the game. Make the second half. Yeah, I know, but I don't want to make the second half if I'm there for it, right? Just run quick. I mean, why didn't I think of that? Eh? Um. Next, we also have. If, if you're reading this, Mister Card, can you call me a dirty little wemp? But make sure you say it in a say it dirty little in an Irish accent and pronounce the wemp with a good lip smacking at the end. Okay, let's see if I can. Dirty little wemp. Will that do? I think I'll do. And moving on, thirty k for a language course. Suddenly, I don't feel so bad about spending thirty seven k for one year of grad school. My friend, you need to get out of the grad school business and into the teaching language courses business. That's all I'm gonna say. And now, back we're in. Just break the heart. Yeah, just turn into Elliot Kipchoge for a little bit and it'll all be fine. What's been happening is we've been slowly but surely bottling Europe. <laughs> Basically, guys. Turbo Chieftain, thank you very much for the six months. I hope you're well. Except for the only, only webs. Hammer and win again. Hibernians win again. Beer Kikara. Okay, that's done us a favor. That's a really big favor of us. Because I feel like Beer Kikara are actually mounting a bit of a title challenge now. But that now gives us an opportunity to move... What would that be? Seven points clear with five matches to go. And then it's just a question of worrying about Master Schlock. But yeah. That that's that suits me just fine. For the moment, anyway. Oh, South I think that might be was it for Balzan by any chance? Oh my god, Matt, click the button, damn it. Uh 
Oh, no, that's... Uh... Oh, no, it's another one! Uh, exclamation mark Malta, Lillis. Yeah, it's a, it's a different dude. It's a guy this time at uh, Bikikara. He came from Amrokang. There we go. We're saving them all, chat. One by one, we're saving them and liberating them. Massive picture of my face. Oh, get in trouble. We should be given all the awards. We're saving them both. We're getting both. Right. I mean, Master Slock will win that, won't they? It's Master away. It's the Battle of the Masters. Right. Sierra Leone cap. Wait, please tell me you've got some already. Oh, no. Please don't tell me you've got claws. <laughs> Wait. Is there a thing there now? Oh, no shit. Okay, good. At least we didn't give him a, a cheeky little uh, wage clause. Do you know what? I'll take that. Master beating Master Slock saves them. They're now nine points above the drop zone. And that gives us an opportunity to move five clear of them as well. We're being handed this opportunity on the plate. And Dick is back. Well, wow. Oh, he's not though, is he? There's no point in playing him here. That's the benefit of injuries in the second half of the season. They miss so few games because of it. Because there's just so few games. Yeah, he's still a bit bruised. Oh, it's a battle of the 4 4 twos here. We go. He's not ready, no. Okay. Look at Steve D'Amato. Who. Yeah. Okay, we move. Geographic place of Malta is a. To be fair, like, Malta is a, a very important strategic location. Which is why we're building the nation. Can't take over us. Sorted. Right. We move. Yeah, Dick will be back next time. Oh, God. Highlight straight off the kickoff. I'm a bit worried, even though we start winning the ball. But with these next three games, Floriano, I mean, they're all teams down towards the bottom, but Floriano have actually got quite a good squad. They're just in an absolute dire straits in terms of their performances. This isn't Grenier's all the way through, and it's already 1-0. Lucas Massa scores his 20th goal of the season, and inside 30 seconds, we lead. And this might be why Floriano have struggled this season, if they're allowing goals like this in. This is really good from Grenier, actually. The way that he sucks both of these guys in, takes it past both of them and just pops it across. Keeper decides to slide out on his ass for some reason. 1-0. If we manage to win, I reckon, seven points from those next few matches, and that might well be enough. Get in there, Asherev. Not quite. Nearly. Nearly won the Champions League. Twice, in fact. Yeah, this would give us a seven-point gap back with four matches... No, five matches to go. Goal difference would be solid. But I still want third. Or even to just kind of stay in the title race, I guess. But, oh, God, don't... Please get out to him. Oh. At this rate, he deserves a stand. I'm just hoping that we can either extend his loan or try and sign him permanently because something about him just works in this match engine. What a start for us. We're absolutely battering Floriana, who admittedly have got a bit better as the season's worn on. But this is the team that qualified for Europe last season. I think they came third in the league. And now they've just... And they spent money this summer too. They signed a few guys we wanted. So you say, nice. Uh, I just feel like the plan for this season was top four. We've had a little tilt at a title race potentially, but I just don't think we have the squad depth for it once the injuries start coming. But we can get that. Grineo. Oh, that was not good. Just just side tackle. Just There's four of you around him. Don't let him get away with this. They wanted all the people... Yeah, they were just taking... They fell on the grenade for us. God, he's been pulled right inside. And well cut out, though, by Cater. Getting back doing his defensive work. I appreciate that from him. He might be one of my favourite signings this season, even though he's only played a few games for us. Cissé loves cutting inside. Kone and Cater have made this a lot better for us in the wide areas. And here comes Kone again. Back for Molinar. Back across for Maza. That's offside. Yeah, it had to be. Endrick to score goals in the Eredivisie. Holy shit. How did you get Endrick in the Eredivisie? Unless you got the other Endrick. And I don't mean Jeff. Also, what a bop this is. I need to watch this film again soon. 100 million. Holy shit. Yeah, he did leave that one a little bit. Oh, Christ. Look at the gap in the middle. Oh, wow. We got away with that massively there. Malaysian international. Good for him. Man's going up in the world. I think we deserve the lead, but we have been a little bit messy still. These wins are not exactly emphatic as of late, but they are nevertheless wins. I would like to see us get a bit of a clapping on someone soon. Oh, nearly. If that gets through, that's almost certainly a goal. Oh my god, Grineo! 
What on earth? It's 2-0. Rodrigo Granillo. Okay, now we're feeling it. That is shocking. I, I'm now fully in understanding why Floriana are down where they are. Some of the defending that they've put together. I mean, they nearly conceded it with this. Like, if he gets this through, Marza, that's probably going to be a goal. But then, they just... Yeah, Granillo has just stepped... I mean, it might have even been a foul, potentially, but he's there. He's got the result. He's got the result. The result was a goal. Good stuff. The goal difference is still looking... But we're not out of the realms of catching second spot. If Birkikara starts to fall off, that was vintage Barkley's. Vintage Bov League right there. Union, yeah, it's... I felt that they might fall off this season a little bit, but that's quite a decline. Right, nobody there. Boilo should be able to handle this nice and easily. It is usually in the second half, though, where we start randomly conceding goals when we get into good leads. So I'm hoping that doesn't happen here. The Greek entry. Is she really? No way. Uh, this is a Fire Saga, uh, starring Rachel McAdams and Will Ferrell. But Rachel McAdams mostly as it's three. Sem Esselink, that's it. Game over. And now we are actually starting to look a little bit like the team that we should be. And I feel like now, admittedly I'm jinxing this by saying this, but regardless, I'm going to say it anyway. I think third place or at least Europe is looking very comfortable for us now. If we just keep playing at this rate, play Yaya. Yaya Ding Dong is on the playlist. Hoping they recover. Yeah, I, I'd hate to see them just suddenly disappear again. It's just been a really solid performance. Watch us just end up putting like a 5-0 win up here now all of a sudden. I guess the team that really should be doing a lot better than they are. Flicked away. Grenier. Oh, go on. Just have a pop on it. Oh, it's gorgeous. Kone now scores. It's four. Second half has definitely exploded for us. We're trying to keep the goal difference in touch with the teams at the top, just in case. <sighs> Done a madness. What's this? Oh, my God. How's that league going to work? <laughs> I'm guessing it won't. <laughs> Yeah, they really are um, just woeful, right? Molinar needs a rest. That's very well, yeah. I mean, I guess like they overperformed clearly last season, but I feel like it's almost kind of come back the other way, isn't it? I could give Dick a little run out here. And there's really no reason not to bring um, Jean on for a bit. Yeah, Grineo has a habit of doing that. It's the assists. Like, he's had multiple games where he's got three or more assists this season. He just pops off for some reason. I think it was that 7-5 against Slima. He got four assists in that game and scored. He's a fantastic link-up merchant. Like, as good as Marx has been, and he has been fantastic, his pure goal-scoring form has been fantastic. Granillo has chipped in with the right amount of goals that you'd expect from a striker, probably, in a 4-4-2. But where he's really been good is the link-up play. I think he's probably going to get double-digit assists and goals this season. Joseph, thank you for the follow. Yeah, these guys sign people. They're spending a lot of money to be this bad. <laughs> That's the thing. That they are... It's costing them a fortune to be this shit. It's Botu! Oh, John, please. He needs a goal so bad. He just... Man just needs to score a goal. I am worried about him coming into next season. But a 4-0 win for us is very nice. Yeah. Barcelona finally get themselves back to... I mean, I think, honestly, there's a nine-point gap between 12th and 13th. I think the relegated teams are pretty much locked in and Gudia and Santa Lucia are gone. Right, 4-0 away win. I thought this was going to be the tough one. So, seven key passes from Granillo. God, I love him in this system. He's surely got to be getting close to the double digits now. He's already got 12 goals. I wonder who's going to have the more goal contributions. <laughs> Literally, when he's on side... He can't do it. What pro I mean, I'd love one, but I just don't see that happening. Certainly something like we'll have to look, though. How, how are we doing on this? So, yeah, Grini So, yeah, 23 goal contributions for Marza and 21 for Grinio, but most of his have come from... I say most. A lot of his have come from assists. The fact is, though, you could look at the XG difference. That's where Marza really excels. He just finishes chances that you wouldn't expect, whereas Jean has underperformed his XG, and it's shown. It just, it has just shown. Underrated performances from the midfield as well. Anyone else massively underperforming that we need to highlight slightly? Uh, Samassi's had quite a high XG, actually. First radio. Uh, the next stream will be transfer window, won't it? Because it'll be uh, Thursday. But is going to be out as well. Transfer value, uh, probably quite high because he's quite good. 
Is his contract expiring by any chance? We might be able to sign for... Oh, he's got an optional extension. It might be. It might be possible. Potentially. Well, I don't know if Jean's played as many games as the others. So his minutes compared to... Then again, look. Actually, Jean still played. Okay, so he's played like 66% of the minutes as Granillo, but has generated less than half. So he's still just not making the right runs either. Oh yeah, they happen earlier than we think, but I don't know if it'll actually... Actually, you're right. We probably will see some European stuff next time as well. E oh God, if he ends up a hammering. Yeah, they'll definitely uh, trigger it, but we still might be able to sign him. But I just don't know if we are going to be able to. Uh, but we're getting a bong, hopefully. Which is just going to help us in terms of having players available for Europe next year. Provided we get it. But I'm feeling more confident about us getting it now. Uh, fuck it, we'll have another friendly in there, right? No reason not to. These games are all separated by a week. They're not getting... Who are we going to have this time? Let's try... Let's play uh, Shara. Bradley for first season. Um, He went back again. Refused to come back on loan. Because he was on loan from um, uh, Medima, which was a lot of those players, like Donsi, uh, Quasi Donsu. None of those guys would come back on loan for us. The Vadu's challenge, I have not known, but I know what you mean. Yeah, true. Actually, yeah, Zabar. Would... Holy shit. Long time lurker here. Thank Just you. wanted to say love your content, streams, and general vibe you have in your community. Big up the okayest streamer of all and a large pinch of knuckle dust for the wimps. Thank you so much, uh, Chief, and that's so very, very kind of you. I Twitch just introduced a new thing that should have allowed that to go into my activity feed, but it didn't. So maybe I have to do some more tweaks with that. Um, that's wow. Uh, thank you so much. That's really, really kind of you. The vibes are immaculate today, like genuinely. The, I think this is a uh, probably been the most like immaculate vibe stream so far of the of the cycle for me, where everything's just been chill. Everyone's just been vibing, and I love it. These are the streams that I just adore. Uh, we're getting them bong, which is cool. Why was it they stopped the permanent loan glitch? Which one was that? Yeah, that's that's a good signing for us. At least I can't send him on a language course because bro's Maltese. So that's going to be one homegrown player for Europe next year. And he's not even that bad. He can definitely cover different things. Police constable fund is back in the house. Apparently so, yeah. So there was a comment on the VOD about the whole, you know, my fiscal responsibility talk that I do. If, um either donations or sub gifting gets out of hand that yeah but i i feel like i have a responsibility to do so you know and and it's not just like out of pure obligation it's i want to you know over and over again um i think you can well, we were doing that but without going loans last year to be fair just for the posterity just to make sure that we fully put ourselves further in the hole that we are now twenty one thousand pounds into um it, that will be fine because when we get our prize money at the end of the season that will wipe out any debt that we've incurred so we're in much better debt like much better financial shape this year than we were last season obviously you wouldn't have seen it but coming into the end of the season last year we were at like minus four hundred thousand. but that's probably because i was fucking doing language courses <laughs> now that i think about it. it it does make me feel more comfortable like, just because i don't want i know that um sometimes i've read a lot about i'm not saying this exists in our community and i hope that it doesn't that there is an element of parasocial stuff which is fine to an extent it's more about like people that you know you see those people that donate huge amounts of money to enormously large streamers and obviously i'm nowhere near on that scale and neither is the stuff i receive but i don't want to even think that that could be going on here you know that that's i worry i worry about it, you know just for building a nation there are loads uh, but i did do an entire video about it um which is on the main channel which will probably answer most of your questions but if you have any more um it's just there's so many different things that we do of course I'm your friend. Like, I don't know, we're all just, we're all just buddies here, aren't we? But that's the other thing, Adrian. Yeah, I, I, that's why I never want to... That's why I... It sounds stupid, but that's why I've never done things like subathons. Because I kind of just want people subscribing to the channel and stuff because they want to do that and not because there's other incentives there, if that makes... Like, if you enjoy the content, and I'm super, like, grateful for everyone that does, you know? Not to know. Oh, no, I encourage it at that point. <laughs> <laughs> FM friends. <laughs> oh, you know, we just vibing. I need to keep making sure I actually put these in. We'll change another friendly there anyway, so. I will take a percentage of your lottery, man. Come on, I'm not a, I'm not a monster. 
National Team Save Subathon. God, I can't think of anything worse. And that's, again, like, just my own personal whatever, you know? How far? Getting cyber power to build your PC. I don't think I'm quite on the, um... I don't think I'm quite on the radar of companies like cyber power. I do have a free keyboard and mouse from them, which I'm not using. <laughs> but other than that, um... I'm not really on those companies' oh, radars. Although, you know, correct. viewership numbers have been really oh, solid on the streams this year. And I'm really grateful for that. Uh, the viewership numbers on the vi YouTube videos as well. Yeah, I'll just collab with Linus. I I'll do a bit of a... I'll be the next competitor on the P secret PC shopper, which is one of my favourite things ever. Uh, Lewis, thank you very much for the follow. Uh, you think they should be very soon, because it's, uh, it's early, au uh, early August? Early April, I believe. I, I guess, Bear, but I, I just still wouldn't want to do that. If I was going to do something like that, I'd probably just do a charity stream instead and use that, leverage my community for that instead of... Do you know what I mean? That's probably where I would do that. And trust me, once I've got to get into that and we've got that a new house, that's coming. I promise. This is where half pipes up. <laughs> oh, yeah, that, that, that's something I'd like to do. Uh, even though I, I wouldn't be able to do like a 24-hour stream or anything like that. Best one yet? Oh, lovely. So... Uh, this is a uh, flute's doing the thumbnail for the recap video on Thursday. Flute, I've got some very interesting um, video ideas that are going to come to you soon, and you're going to get to do some crazy shit with thumbnails. Uh, one of which is going to involve like Victorian style stuff. So. <laughs> Champions League podcast merch. Oh, mate, you won't believe it. It's great. I've let half do all the work for it. Right, Balzans, come on, early kickoff. If Balzan do us a favour here, we could get back into this still. Uh, okay. That'll do. That'll give us a chance to go back above them. The unhinged stuff is the best things, yeah. Second season regens. Uh, they probably would have done. Yes, actually. Um, we can find out. Well, um, we have our answer. Yes, they have. Um, ignore the face. That's from the Z-Gen pack. At least you didn't get a real player's face. <laughs> yes, they have indeed. It's sufficiently unhinged. Right, okay. Heading to my DMs. <laughs> <laughs> Hang on. <laughs> oh, that's perfect. One sec, chat. I'm just going to gyatso it for you. So, um, seasons one and two recap for Malta. Thumbnail. <laughs> Oh, that's absolutely perfect. <laughs> uh, the skin is uh, Saz24. If you do exclamation mark skin in chat, uh, Lil Ventura, you'll get the uh, the link for it and stuff. Oh, Flute, you've done it again, buddy. <laughs> You're worth every penny, my friend. <laughs> Wonderful scenes. We just need like a Duolingo... Actually, Flute, if you could somehow add the Duolingo owl into there somewhere, that would be absolutely wild. Um, I didn't explain it. I, I realized I never gave you this in the brief, obviously. But basically, the, I have the loads of jokes written in the video about how we're spending too much money on language courses because of Duolingo. So if you could somehow put the Duolingo owl in that thumbnail for me as well, that would be absolutely wonderful. Oh, gone bad. Just just there, looming ominously. But yeah, it looks like the second season regens are in now, which is cool. For the Patreon ones, anyway. Dick and doll. Oh... You have the face of a step builder who's just got stuck in the cement. <laughs> step builder. <laughs> oh, we might as well be the yeah, the we'll be the Duolingo sirens. Uncomfortable. Appearing thousands of screens with the gob open. Nope. I, I get like this is the thing, right? On one of the videos, I um I can't remember which one it was. We talk about how like um the thumbnails were like nightmare fuel. I'm just like they were complaining about it basically in a comment on the video that they had clicked on because of the thumbnail to watch and i'm just like you do realize the reason you're here is the reason that that thumbnails this is the reason my thumbnails look like this is because they work <laughs> that is the reason people's thumbnails look like that because people click on them basically like yeah we need a duolingo sponsorship Fun yeah no i mean i imagine kev gets it way worse than i do and i imagine luke gets it too um yeah, it's, I just kind of don't care. I know that they're good thumbnails because I can see the analytics behind them. Like, I, I can see what they do for the channel that mine didn't, you know? Yeah, but the problem is, 
if people don't do them like that, they get less, they do poorly. It's just, that's the, in, until such time as that changes and people start looking at different things, you know? Because he sat his strike. That's hilarious. <laughs> right. We move. Uh, wow, they actually want to put him in. Oh, he's not suspend. Oh, he's not available, is he? Ah, right. That'll sort us out nicely. Like, would I like to be able to put up a thunder that just basically says exactly what's in the video and it just describes everything perfectly? Yeah, I'd love to, but no one would click on it, right? The screen painting. Oh. <laughs> It'd be lovely, but that's not the world we live in, right? And at the end of the day, it's my job. <sighs> the super white eyes. I mean, this is true. And again, those kind of comments, it's all interaction. Sometimes I'll deliberately like leave in a mistake for like, if I've said something that's slightly wrong, that's like an inaccuracy. Sometimes I'll just leave it in there to see if anyone's going to be really pedantic with me. <laughs> Most of the time I don't because I can't stand it. But every now and then I'll just leave one in there to see if anyone's going to take the bait on it. There's always one. To Bengo. <laughs> oh dear. So on YouTube again. Uh, no. No reason to. Um, that would not make good content. Like, it, no one would watch it, truthfully. Uh, the reason I stopped doing that type of content and decided to try something different was because people weren't really watching it in the grand scheme of things, and now look what's happened as a result of me changing my content. There's zero reason why I would go back. Now, that being said, I would be tempted to do some of that sort of stuff as one long video, but other than that, no. I would never do, like, a long Let's Play series on that channel. Now, if at some point I'm actually really enjoying something like the game, I might be tempted to actually do something on another channel to add to that, potentially, but it would never be on the main channel again. Start there for Mr. B. Yep, precisely. It's like it's almost like that guy knows what he's doing. Doing so, oh, Twitch has been going surprising. I'm, I was surprised by the audience bump we got at the start of this cycle. Um, it took me by surprise compared to the smaller bumps from Treaty to you know from Thromsa to Treaty to MTK. It was it took me by surprise, and the fact that a lot of you have stuck around as well is genuinely very heartwarming as well. That maybe are maybe you're new to my content on stream at least this cycle and you've actually decided to stick around and i just i think i'm very thankful for that so thank you to all those people and all the ones that have stuck around forever five minute major <laughs> i'll call it that referee in the ottawa senators game yesterday how about that uh there is gonna be an update for the skin but not till december sam right i'll take it blocker i'll take it we're winning again we're actually doing putting down some really good results now we've got out of that little like uh little slump is gone and now all of a sudden this title race is still maybe on the cards. Even Jean scored. Like, what's wrong with us? Here we go again. Botu. Round the side for Granillo. Great first touch. It's two. It is two nil in two minutes. We're two nil. Look at us go. You get a misconduct. You get a misconduct. Yeah, they're cool. Um, This has been in the skin the entire time. These guys are dreadful, but we need to get the win. And if we can get the goal difference up a little bit, it'll help us in the title race, which we are now somewhat still in. Oh, call it Connor Pedard's mum. <laughs> That's five minute major right there. The Midgeland days, holy Christ. Those were the days. Those were the days that made me stop doing content entirely. <laughs> Although that was just because I wasn't prepared for what came with it, truthfully. I wasn't prepared for the... I wasn't prepared for the way that my community and comment section changed with it, basically. And I wasn't in a great place in general at the time. Better than Cory Perry <laughs> Ah, oh. <laughs> god damn it! Oh, hello. Oh, is, hang on. I think Flutes added the new one. One second, chat. Perfect. That that's so good. I love it. It's subtle. It wonderful news. Give it a second. Good look at me not dropping frames while uploading to Gyatso as well. We're going to have a lot of fun with these recap thumbnails this year, I suspect. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> now Duolingo Owl is in there. That's all we need. We're sorted. We're ready to go. Thursday is going to be a confusing time. He's the master. Does the owl have angry eyes? The owl is angry even when it's not angry. Perfection. Ah, uh, we're going to have so many questions. <laughs> it's how I like it. We're just going to have fun. Oh, Grineo's in again. It's three. It is three. Who needs 
Marza, because apparently Rodrigo Ganillo is just going to lead the line for us today. Oh, the money burning. This is perfect. I love being able to do live revisions with flute. <laughs> I would click it. There you go. Now you understand. Ah, easy 50k views there, chat. I'm telling you. <laughs> It couldn't be as bloodthirsty as Gideon, but it's got to be close, right? Grineo's ball in. It's, it's... Oh, my God. It was nearly four. This is getting a little out of hand already. We've had 2.2 XG in the first 12 minutes of the match. How are they this bad? Oh, here we go again. John, come on, buddy. Please, for the love of God, pass the ball. Oh, Dick's in. Come on. Oh, John's injured again. Of course he is. Molinar. Can he drop it across for someone? There's plenty of bodies in there. Grineo... It's it's four. It is four nil in fourteen minutes, and oh, he's offside, and that's frustrating. I mean, it looked a bit offside. I don't know why Grinio makes like he just keeps on running. Oh, he just stayed behind the ball. How badly is Jean's injured? Oh, I think Jean's fine. How is Jean on a, a nine point five? By the way, Can we just discussed that. Jean is on 9.5 after 15 minutes. Did he get both the assists as well? Yeah, it looked like the player just like completely hacked him down. It was like that one. Was it Joe Rawls against Spurs a few years, or like quite a few years ago for Cardiff City when he got sent off for that horrible tackle at Wembley? He must have got two assists or something, yeah. Yes, they've got pace cops. Yes. Spearman and Chiquito. Thank you very much for the follows. I'm sorry, Chiquito, that I missed your follow there. We're playing an island. Well, they're going to need to get better at it. Because they're clearly a crap island, Grineo. Oh, my dear. What is their goalkeeper? It's a hat trick for Grineo. He could have had a fourth goal, and we're only 16 minutes into this game. This could get very ugly. Kota Dai, thank you so much as well for the six months. And Lil Ventura as well. Thank you for the follow. Up the mile of teasers. This is getting ridiculous. Are we suddenly on for the title again? Like, how has he just let that through? I mean, they may as well not be playing a goalkeeper at this point. It would have done exactly the same. He hasn't endangered the laugh of the player. Exactly. Yeah, we're getting the goal difference. Oh my God, we're getting insta highlight from the kickoff again. If we score another goal, if nothing else, we're going to score the most goals this season. That's for sure. Esselink. Grineo again. I mean, what more could he do in this game? I guess keep scoring goals. It's Dick down the left now. Square. It's f it's five. It is five nil. We, we are five nil up inside 18 minutes. And we've also had a goal disallowed for offside. It could have been six. The amount of space that Santa Lucia are giving us here is filled. Look at this outside of the foot pass from Esselink, by the way. That is <laughs> wow. We're on a different play. We might as well be playing a different sport right now. That's amazing, FM boss. That is kind of sick, actually. I I really appreciate you for sticking around. Uh, what a time to come in, Silent Killer. Uh, we're five nil up inside <laughs> inside twenty minutes. This is insane. Best goal difference in the league, Neil. We're getting there. Holy shit, Zuna Jetta! Thank you very much for the follow. Um, let's just have a look at their goalkeeper. This is he, Matthew Kalea Cremona. I mean, he's not even. I mean, he is not good. But he's not that not good. He's quite bad. To be fair, with the amount of teams that have strengthened their goalkeepers, it clearly he has not... They've clearly not strengthened their goalkeeping department in between the seasons, that's for sure. Botu's on a 10. He's got two goals and... Two goals, two assists. grineo has got... Ah, he's got four goals. Oh, no, he had an offside goal. And now we've gone 20 minutes without scoring. Yeah, he looks okay. But I feel like a lot of the teams at this level would have probably strengthened their keepers over the summer. Maybe they just didn't. So maybe the the, the gap in quality is just there. Or oh, Grineer is it again. Grineer is it again. Oh, that should have been six. How is Kone on a 6.8? We're five nil up. Like, bro. This is certainly the kind of result that we needed, though. Because it would push us 10 points clear of dropping out of the top four, at least. Yeah, how... Uh, now, right now, I understand the complacency. That is fine. The game, totally agree. They would be a little bit complacent after being 5 0 up here. But I want to see if we can keep going because we did score that many goals in the first 19 minutes. Watch us not score again for the rest of the game. 
In fact, I wouldn't be surprised if we win this like 5 2, because they'll just randomly score a couple of goals in the second half. That seems to happen a lot. But Master Schluck are winning again. They're not letting us down easy. And Birkikara's draw. It would at least, yeah, that draw that they had earlier in the day would allow us to jump them on goal difference at least. And we're still only two points off the top. This is the thing. We're not technically out of the title race yet. I don't think we quite get it. Yeah, Alex Cheney is that playing the right back for them as well, by the way. As in our captain last season is currently playing right back for them. And it's getting absolutely rinsed by Kone. S Link run. Where's that run? That's poor. Oh, look at that from Cater. Oh, look. Oh, it's just going to be a straight across the box, right? How has he missed that? How has he missed an open goal there? Uh, it was a tap in. That was a it was a brilliant set. Also, I love how his kit is the same as the kit they're playing in. Like their goalkeeper's basically just got the same kit as the team. Kone's actually on a 6.5 now. <laughs> we were 5 0 up and he's on a 6 5. Yeah, I feel like it does just sort of. No, it was a Sleema, I believe, was the team that we beat five uh, seven five. I think. Although now I'm starting to wonder if that is the case, as it is now six nil. Kamara makes it six. Right, we've got our second uh, second half goal and a six nil victory, and more importantly, the best goal difference in the league now. Favorite artist is back. Yes, you love to see it, or you don't. What a messy goal. So it is six nil. This is surprising. Um, the most surprising thing for me, actually, isn't even the fact that we've scored six times. It's the fact that we've not conceded any goals. Usually, when we, you know, score six goals in a game or something, we end up conceding three. They've just been that woeful today that they've not even had a score against us. Oh, dearie me. 15 minutes to go. Are we going to wake up again, maybe, now? Get a couple of late ones to really put them firmly back in their place as they were starting to get a little bit uppity. 7-6. There's still time. Like, we've got 15 minutes. We're being patient on the ball. Playing it around nicely. Just dragging them out of position. Here we go. Grinio. It's coming. I'm feeling it. Here we go. As is up. Oh, he's in. Oh, he shouldn't have. He should not be shooting there. But admittedly, it's 6-0 up. I'll forgive him. He needs to be squaring that for a tap-in. Hibernian's losing as well, which is good news for us. Looks like Zabar are probably going to miss out. They're going to be two points off, I guess. Kardia, thank you for the follow. Yeah, it looks like we'll have to settle for 6-0. But to be fair, we won 4-0 in, in our last game and now 6-0. After that poor run of matches, we really have... And we got to play Goodyear next, by the way. Like, we are playing against the other relegation threat inside in the next game. So this could continue for us, potentially. Go on, Cater. You might as well have a shot, honestly, bud. Oh, and he has it. Seven. It's a Cater. Did you see the way the ball deflected off the ground and did that lovely, like, top spin? Sorry, like a, almost like a backspin shot. I love seeing that. That looked like what happened there. The way it was just sort of sailing in. There are more crazy scorelines, yes. And I think they need to tone that down a little bit. I'm putting it down to we're playing in Malta at the moment. But yeah, I think it is a bit weird. I swear that like... Yeah, like it... Mmm, gorgeous. I mean, we're getting pretty close to 5 XG here. Not that close, though. One minute of stoppage time. The referee's just like out of your misery. The match engine is so much. It's just so good. 7-0 away... The goalkeeper wasn't even the worst player. Glorious. Both of our strikers got 10 out of 10 ratings. Jean gets... Two goals, two assists. Grenillo gets a hat-trick and an assist. I uh, know, Youth Intake will probably be in between these next two games now. What a win. Yeah, that's what I mean. I think it does need to be toned down a little bit. But the mo for me, I'm just... I'm role-playing it as we're playing in Malta ergo, you know? But only two points off the top. Better goal difference than Hammering. We've also now bettered our uh, goal... Sorry, our returns from last year. And actually, Santa Lucia weren't even bottom. <laughs> Goodyear were bottom, but we've just humped them down there because of that. And we get to play Goodyear next. If Hamroon lose and there's two points in it with five matches to go, I'm telling you, sorry, four matches, it's on. Hamroon do win, though. They beat Marsa. Ah. Oh, no, the youth attack's going to be trash. Uh, it's E-rated prediction. It actually is, Dean. Like, genuinely, it is genuinely a very good youth intake. So youth intake match engine this year. It's so fun to play. John's finally sort of... I mean, admittedly, if you're going to need a palate cleanser, that's the team to play against. We've not conceded a goal in three matches. Who are we? Who is she? Who are we to not concede a goal? We haven't intake the youths yet, but we shall be momentarily, I suspect. Yeah, we're not getting a Janosch. 
Even before we can find a way to get an F-rated youth intake. 67 goals. Yeah, we get one in uh, April. But part of that might be because we have shocking facilities. So the Maltese draft for the youth intake. It might be that once we get later in the save, it will be late March because of... Uh... Oh, yeah. Because of that. So we'll probably write down the end of the draft as well. Right, so Zabar's game in hand against Valletta. I would love it if Valletta could do us a favor here, but I suspect they're not. No, I... I... Oh, yes, Valletta. Get in. Right, so that now makes us nine points clear. We're going to get top four. There's just no way we're not getting top four now. We're nine points above them. And also, more importantly, seven points above Master Schlock as well. Our youth rank, I don't know. I do not know. Mr. Broker... Oh, is Harry's back? Oh, he is. That might actually help them towards the end of the season. On youth recruitment. Yeah, but our youth recruitment's dog shit. Um, well, seven. Might not be that bad, I suppose. And good you're getting a point as well. Maybe they're not as bad as we thought they are. They are very bad. Oh, by the way, I watched uh, Max's video about home and away uh, bias. And, well, very interesting. Would highly recommend, as always, with any um, EBFM video. But that one especially. Uh, let's play against... Uh, Asha. We'll play against Asha. Or Asha. Cool. We're very mid at the moment. Interesting that Noosa is actually number one on the next gen list this year. I mean, he's very good. But that's cool to see. Also, well, wait, is he still at Rosenborg? Holy shit. Sveta Harsov Nipan is actually still at Rosenborg. Imagine if we actually got a sun during the save. Obviously, not going to be any regions on here. Oh, the bloody he is! Emmanuel Godwin of Barca. And also this guy, Jose Antonio of Atletico. Surely there's no more. What an interesting picture. Oh, there's another one there. Neil Hoskins. He's definitely facing the game though, isn't he? I'm almost certain of it. Imagine if like a random one of the Patreon facing the games just rocks up on here. Yeah, imagine that. Facing the game being really good. Imagine it. Yeah, when a facing the game next year, it could happen. It doesn't appear to have happened yet, but maybe next year, right? And that's, that's what I mean about the facing the games. The... Yeah, imagine if it's Inferno next season. To be fair, that it could be. He's probably one of the best ones we've seen so far. Him and... Oh, 63 negative now. Okay, yeah. We need to get to the end of the season to bail ourselves out financially. They should just be able to be toggled on and off. Or just... Yeah. Place for my team. No, because it really... The determination will certainly help you get on there, potentially. Yeah. Right. Uh, oh, why does that switch back to that all the time? Uh, we'll leave that in there for the moment. That's one for later. Right, youth intake surely has got to be between now and the next game. There's just no way it can't be. Ah, right, here we go. Slima versus Master Schlock and Tarsheen. So we want Master Schlock and Hamrun to win these games. Excellent, lads. Right, that means it pretty much doesn't matter what happens now. I think Europe is pretty much sold for us. Because Master Schlock are really the only team that can catch us for third spot. And if they do get third, it doesn't matter. That should be sorted now. Looks like Europe is pretty much not sewn up, but damn close to it. Because now... Yeah, we'd have to come fifth now to not get any European football. Although, actually, we technically the only way we could get no European football here is if Hanrun win the cup and Zabar come above Master Schlock, that could still knock us out if we were to come... Oh, no, that would be them knocked out. No, no, I'm an idiot. That wouldn't be us knocked out, would it? Yeah. Uh, we would go into, I think, still the first qualifying round of the Conference League, I believe. You just get, I think all of those teams get dumped at the same time. EBFM, yes. Uh, it's, um, it's, a, it's a YouTube channel. He does videos, like, really, really interesting experiments in FM to do with, like, the actual game engine itself it's fast his youth intake series last year was wonderful oh for <laughs> that right there my friends is genuinely the worst youth intake i have ever had on an fm save a two star best player two star hey questionable penguin how's the fam oh right yeah sorry evidence-based football manager yeah yeah, that's because of the Z-Gen faces. 
So we've got Jim Pinthorpe. I mean, look at this. Decent talents. Yeah. Um, how did you get the new gen faces in before altering it? Uh, I didn't put the new... As in, this is just because of the pack from last year that I've not updated yet because um, I tried to create a new profile as a blank one, but it didn't wipe it out. So I need to wait until I actually run it, but I'm not going to start doing that until such time as we actually get loads and loads of regens in the save because it's a bit of a waste to keep doing it otherwise. He's no young Dean, no. So we've got a Nordy, an Atard, a Fennec, a Borg. There's your Borg. A Grek. No other parties. Brincat, Galea, Raffalo, sorry, Raffalo, Spiteri, another Borg, a scary... Oh, there he is! There's your Azapardi. Ah. Well then. Genuinely, Axe, that is the worst youth I think I've ever had. A, a two-star... Bear in mind, the best player in the entire youth intake is two-star PA, and only one player is even two-star PA. It, it's actually incredible how bad that is. Like, even when we had shit youth intakes in the past, it was like, oh, the best player was like three, three and a half stars. And the youth intake itself was not point, like, you know, it was half a star. They are just shocking. I wonder if any of the uh, Maltese patron regions are going to be any good. Kamara's dropped that too, so that's going to make the dynamics much better. Look at that, we're flying. Oh, dear. Right, that's a friendly, that's fine. Then it's good you're at home. I mean, Espez, right? It was like tennis players outside the top 5,000. We've conceded a goal to them concerning. No, don't pick anything. Uh, no, you wouldn't. You'd get... Um, if you save, if, if you were to save before the youth intake comes through, then you would get a different set of... You'd have the same names. And they'd have the same personal details. But their CA and PA would be... Not randomised, but they would be different. They, I suppose they'd be randomised within the range. But yeah, that's how it works. You can change a lot of things that influence the youth intake right up until literally the day that the players join. Candidates evaluated. Do you not believe... Do you not, Ludovic? I, I don't... I agree. Good start. Those potential stars of BS. They are, but... They're not, though, are they? In this case, they're just shit. They're not good players. Uh, no amount of, like, coaching is going to make them good players. But that's fine. That's up to us to get our youth recruitment up. And even if we do, remember, Malta's youth rating is absolutely non-existent. Meaning that I don't think we'll ever get a usable player from our youth intake, which sucks. Dick, though, on the other hand... He's actually developing really nicely now. And it's the first time in the save, really, we've seen some actual development out of them. Uh, Kamis Soko, who are you? Bloody hell. We're getting a lot more winger suggestions through these now, which is nice. I'm just going to keep trialing these guys. Just on the off chance, right? Just getting Borg is going to be helpful, though. But one good youth player? No way! That's very lucky. Uh, we've got four games left in the league. And so, yeah, there actually is a chance to win it. Although, really, it's going to take a massive result. We, get, we need hammer and, We'd have to drop gain five points on them in four matches, and I just don't see that happening. But we're getting there. That was never... Our aim this season was top four, and we have pretty much got them sorted. I think fourth is... Although, I would like to get second. April 4th, it should be the day, although I suspect it might bump up a little bit if we start to get better youth recruitment. We might see our day go up a tiny little bit. Bolton Europe this year was awful. Um, as you'd expect. Wait, what? Oh, absolutely not. Second place, they're all... Um, only the first place team goes into the Champions League. Three through four go into... Um, sorry, two through four all go into the Conference League. False credential! Thank you very much for the seven months. Hope you're well. Sick stonks, sick heart, sick Malta. Redondo Ginger. I would say so, yes. Uh, wait. Oh, I rend on, though. My bad. I scared the shit out of me for a second there. I've still spelled it wrong. There we go. Levante striker. Oh, I'll tell you what. Ignore the face. Fiona! At least you know the second season ones are coming through now, which is not a problem. Uh, Archil, thank you very much for the follow. But yes, can't see much about you just yet. But, uh, hey. Finishing's there. Speed looks there as well. Well, fucking quick. Like, very quick. Probably want to look out for, honestly. Well, we lost a game. Holy shit. April Fool's Day. Yeah, that would be perfect, actually, in a way. Oh, no, it can happen. So far. But my point being that in Malta, that's likely not happening. Um, some of those guys might be slightly better potential-wise, just because our people aren't particularly good at notifying, but I bet you they're just not good. No, it's actually their fifth loss, even though it feels like they win every week. Right. 
Honestly? I'm going to go with the same lineup. I think they played that side round, though, didn't they? I, I want to try the same exact lineup again. Or same up, some sort of strike lineup. Producing take. Uh, youth recruitment be higher. Junior, I uh, know. Basically, just your reputation and your youth recruitment. Oh, and your youth rating, but that's not something you can really control. Oh. Yeah, what I'm going to do after stream, because we'll probably be in a position then where every single. Oh, I can't call them redondo. Every single one of them has come through. I'll be able to add them all to uh, keep history after retirement. That way I can make sure that we don't lose them. Yeah, let's try that. Almost certainly, Thomas. And I'm pretty certain we already know his name because I think it's going to be Ian Bastard Ferno. <laughs> yeah, youth recruitment decides the draft order and reputation is the tiebreaker, if I remember correctly. Or from what Slugs mentioned earlier. I'm just trying to recall as much as I can from Max's video. No one should sign for you. Yeah, it's almost like they're just kind of hoping that they'll drum up more interest otherwise. Right. Okay. These guys, in theory, should be just about as bad as Santa Lucia were. So what's the games tomorrow? So we're on the early kickoff here. So the pressure's on a little bit. What a free kick. That was the whole point of it. If it makes you feel better, Hadrian and I are absolute gash. Like, both are probably going to get released. And it's annoying because at Fulham, my guy used to come through really good. But just this... Oh, what a header. Hang on. From a set piece. Jean now. Suddenly he's found some confidence again. Seventh goal of the season for him. And maybe there is a player here for us for next year. He's really taken this little... What a great cross from Dick as well. Smashes it in. And Jean's just... Wow. He rose like a cliche. Dick must be getting close to a decent amount of assists. Hammering are away in the last... In the late kickoff today against Slima, Who are not very good. So I expect they'll win. Patreon recap video. I could do that actually for the Patreon. I am tempted to do little occasional like exclu Patreon exclusive videos, just not anything that's like major stuff. Though things like that would be fair. Uh, Kata makes it too. Uh, chat, are we watching the same game as the last match? Because we're now two up inside six minutes. I'm starting to think that we might just be about to go on a mad run like we did last season towards the end. Look at this pass from Esselink. Was it Esselink or was it? No, it's Molinar. Well, I'm surprised he didn't shoot there, but such a good decision. Two nil, cruising. Oh my god, surely not another one. Dick delivers. Flicked away. But here we go. Molinar. Samassi. Surely Dick is going to just be in tons of space. Here he comes. Dick's into the box. Drops it through. Oh, it's deflected wide. Every five years and game. Yeah, that's something I could do. For the, re for the, uh, the regions. Sorry, for the Patreon regions, yeah. Clear the way again. We're just getting so many highlights in the first ten minutes here. This is actually kind of crazy. I want to see if we can get another five goals or something here. Kone. Trips it across. Cleared away again. Because this tactic does many things. And usually it's bad defensively. But we've been so good from an attacking perspective lately. At this rate, we're on for like a plus 40 fucking goal difference. It's glorious. No more seen... No, no. The recaps are still happening. Uh, got one coming out on Thursday. That's what we were doing the thumbnails for earlier. Change the view. Uh, I don't believe you can change the view on the development list. As far as I'm aware, you can't change the view. That's one of those weird, hard-coded ones. Other nations... I don't believe that will make much difference, because the nation that you're in is where your players are coming from, not there. So I don't think it should make much difference, but... I'm trying to think of anything that would maybe cause that to be a problem. I don't think there is. Dick again. Oh, look at this. Cater all the way through. Smashes it. 3-0. Get in. There's many screens in the game that for some reason have like hard locked uh, stuff. And that's one of them. And it's very annoying. Much like the... Oh, there's, there's loads more screens that have annoyed me like that. We're playing some really nice stuff in this. It's another assist for Dick, by the way. Just glorious. Born Barbados. Um, so basically, when you... Because I gave him English nationality. I forgot to set a birth city. So the game, most of the time... We'll just pick a nation, pick a birth city in the nation that you're from. Sometimes it will go unhinged like it did there, but very often when it does that, it doesn't give them the second nationality of the nation that they were born in, basically. It's just weirdness, but that's the reason I don't have Barbadian second nationality. But yeah, as for the recaps, there wasn't a recap for season one. There will be. It's just going to be part of the season two recap video as well. It's going to be like a double length video uh, because of the situation that we had, which meant that I had to spend the day doing that instead of making the recap video. 
but yeah i'm recording the recap tomorrow it's gonna be a long it's probably gonna be like an hour long at this rate honestly because considering we're recapping two videos or two seasons worth as well as all the absolute shenanigans that happened oh molinar oh he should have gone for it three nil i'm actually kind of disappointed after the way we started to be that many goals up that quickly if we don't get to five i'll be uh i'll be sad but it would also be four straight clean sheets for us which is absolutely bastard unheard of for us in this league if we just maybe the arrival of Ndong, now that he stopped scoring own goals, is actually going to help us. Cater. Oh, what a save! Oh, never mind. Corona five. Sorry, four nil. Samba Corona grabs another goal for himself too. Could have been another goal for Jean, but he's looked much better. Grineo has actually been the one that sort of underperformed a little bit today, considering it's going to be four nil, seven nil, four nil. Yeah, we're doing all right. This is how you respond to things going a little bit skewiff for us. Sorry, so Dick to reject. Oh, I've got a clip for that. Um, from a previous time he got injured. I've got about like 15 clips going into the video. It's beautiful. From everything from that ridiculous one where the goalkeeper just kicks the ball directly up in the air for no reason. And then they score off of it too. All sorts. To me not being able to count. I've got another clip that just says Hadrian ran through me. <laughs> Don't know why we're gonna slot that into the video. Right, come on. 5 0. Then we can make some subs. Get, maybe get Mazer on for a little bit instead of Grineo, actually. Give him a chance to play with Jean, see if they can play together. Get an idea of what we want to do for next season, maybe. Uh, Scour Sway, thank you very much for the six months. I hope you are having a fantastic day, my friend. One of my best and worst phrasings. It can't be as bad as what I said earlier on stream, if you recall. Talk about Batman. If you know, you know. Right, Cater again. He's been a revolution. Oh, here we go. Grineo must be offside, surely. Yep. On a loop for 30 minutes with like some um some hard bass underneath it i can't see anything that could go wrong there right since we're not getting the fifth goal there i will make a change cater he's done so oh, we could bring on joseph and bong give him his debut and as good as dick's been and he has been spectacular some good dicking right there buddy Power Lord is a bit disturbing. What can I say? I like to add to the... Uh, the vibes became immaculate shortly after that. Worst phrase on stream today was search for ice packs on Boots' website. Oh, absolutely not. No, no. The Batman thing was definitely the worst. Might be one of the worst things I've ever said on stream. Other than the Gwyneth Paltrow thing from back in the day. <laughs> Batman. I don't think I could put that in the recap video. <laughs> camera says, yes, I can. So, TV. Then I have camera height two notches from this side. And then I have camera zoom one notch from this side. And then I usually have my speed up by one. And then obviously I have um, director as the highlights for that. But yeah, that's how I set it up. To me, it's the one that gets closest to like television camera style. No one likes limp dick. It's true. He's back in it now. Right, come on. Five nil. I'll, we'll settle for five. It'll all be good. I'd like another one for Jean, maybe. And there it is. Okay, suddenly he's woken up all of a sudden. This is perfect. If he finishes the season, gets us to like 10 goals in the league, then I'm more than happy to have him as our main striker next season. We'll just have to sign a someone else to play alongside him, whether it be Grineo or Marza, unlikely, but we'll find someone. It's just nice to see that he's not a complete dud like I was worrying about because he now actually looks like he can link the play out really nicely. Also, what is the run we've been on lately? <laughs> don't mind getting paid. I, mean, I don't think it'd be demonetized. I think I would just get some comments and, you know, you want to avoid as much of that as you can, even if it's good for the, uh, <laughs> for the engagement. God, our XG over the last few matches has been like title winning form lovely now we just need hammer to botch it up later and maybe give us a chance going into those final three matches if they don't win later there's a chance that would get us back to within them and we'd have a better goal difference because if they say draw then it would just take one loss it is what we want but you know i still have to read the down comments and sometimes after a little while you get sick of dealing with pure wimps right that's why I actually kind of hate making tutorial videos at the start of a cycle, but I knew that I had to because it was going to be really important for the year. But my God, it just brings out the 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 um actuallys whenever you do anything related to tutorials. No matter how many times I say, this is just what I do, make of it what you will. The um actuallys, my God. Because you don't really get that on like my um, get a booking, get a suspended, get suspended video because it's like everyone's just vibing along and having fun. And those are the videos I like making the most because it's just, there's really nothing to criticize because it's just like, madness right okay some bonuses have been paid out there we are now oh okay that's not too bad we're in a good spot hammered already won that up yeah it's the worst sequel to love actually ever yeah i think that that's probably the title gone unless they're gonna balls it up massively now they've just gotta 
win like two of their last three matches and be uh they'll be home and dry it's just a question of whether we can stay above Birkikara. at least the goal difference is sorted yeah who is their final running actually true maybe they get to play someone like zabar or Birkikara. so they've got hibernian at home Birkikara away and valletta at home maybe if Birkikara could beat them and then make these are not easy games hibernian at eighth valletta are seventh and Birkikara are obviously third it's it's tough it's very tough compared to ours anyway like we have a much more winnable run in we play zabar away that's tough but then 11th place balza and baltan at home and then jira are quite good but they're also a bit mid too better than love actually can't not possible love actually is a classic how dare you <laughs> perfection right and now we have another bloody nine years off uh oh, at least the final two weeks of the season are i'm gonna just schedule two friendlies that we were at least covered for both of those weeks. Uh, where's Dingley? Do they fancy another go? Ah, Dingley is scared of us. You heard it here first. They know. There they go. <laughs> They've been lulled out. Go to Europe. Hopefully, yeah. Oh, nice one. Uh, RTY. That's awesome. No, obviously, I always want to help people with that stuff. But it's just when you do anything that requires... Um, when you're basically saying, here's a thing you can do, it encourages people that take a lot of pride from superiority at things like the game and stuff to basically try to belittle people for not knowing x y and z and they'll always have a way that's better than yours even if it's not it do you know what i mean and that's something that you tend to get a lot to biggest example would be the um all the random comments about tato on the uh skin video i did for example like if you love the skin so much just use it then it's it's weird that they feel the need to constantly bang on about it like that on other videos that aren't about it but there you go that's one of the strangest things wow so oh Birki Kara have now hounded a second potentially Marsa win again that's it though they're relegated right Santa Lucia are, are done you can stream on the second hand card channel as Sirens of Malta I am right now in fact and here it is and I'm doing it well yeah it's no potato that's them done I think basically Goodyear are done as well but not technically oh no they are of course it's 11 points not nine yeah so that's them relegated any promotions happened yet no oh it's getting tight it's saying wow look at this from saying they're coming back they were miles off the pace nash have absolutely bottled it but look they're only three points off a of promotion now tarshin are basically up then again they're not really that's getting cut that is getting uh tight name of a country well you know maybe the country's named after the place in malta do you ever stop to think of that fellio i think tarshina wrote basically up um moster have got quite a few patreon lads yes if i recall weirdly um because more than one as if the game's gonna not i do wish it would at least prioritize searching for the exact word but hey what can i what can i say we'll have a look uh under 19 squad I'm trying to see which ones they've got I think... Oh, Christ. Derek Galea, Richard Rod. I think there's those two. Yeah, I'm fairly certain those are the two um, Patreon regions that gender at Moster. They, one of them's actually even played. What about Derek? No, they both played. Maybe in a cup game or something. No, it was the league, wasn't it? Yeah, I want Mustafa, obviously. It comes in Malta be favouring. Uh, no, really, we don't. T well, we just want to get. Uh, when that happens, we just want to be getting them to as clubs in Malta. The favouritism starts much later down the line, and even then, I rarely ever actually truly favouritise clubs because we just want to get the maximum amount of loans at that point. But you know, I'm already a fan of what Zabar have been doing, just because the fact they come up from the second flight, having signed all the Argentinians, and are already challenging for European football. That's kind of dope to me. God, look at both of our strikers in the top three scorers as well any kind of surprises ah no turkey like we've seen before turkey were doing really well on my other saves okay so and he's actually against the bar next could you we're loan banning i can't remember who, no it was big Kara was the ones that annoyed me because they took that loanee back from us once we beat them and then we had to go and find a new winger and now they're in a battle for us with second spot as well so yeah i might have to uh think twice about loaning players to be Kara. although truthfully they're the sort of team that are probably going to need some that's right, I'm sticking the boot in. Bikikara have kind of HJK'd themselves a little bit, yeah. 
Oh, good. Boalo's out for the rest of the... That's his. That's him done. Boalo's out for the rest of the season. Less than ideal. Thank God we signed Ndong. We always need a villain. Yeah, we had like... We had Scamrock Rovers. We had... Um, who was the team in Hungary that we never really got on with? I can't remember who it was. And Hamrin as well for how they... Yeah, Hamrin in general. But again, we can't not help those sort of clubs. Besides, Hamrin are going to be up there no matter what, I think. It's going to be very hard for them to drop off. Pushkas in Hungary, yeah. And like with Longford Town in um, Ireland as well. And Rosenborg were kind of the ones we didn't really get on with in Norway, if I remember, because they would never take our loans. Uipesh were just annoying. Oh, it was Honvid, wasn't it? Because they won the cup while they were in the second tier or something, wasn't it? And Kazinch Barshika. Pity. Pity your petty. Yeah, Honvid were annoying. In the yeah, because they did. They won the second... They won the cup while either being promoted or relegated, didn't they? I can't remember which. Kind of the same thing's nearly happened here. Yeah, Rosenberg was so bad. And to be fair, they're not doing particularly well in real life at the moment, are they? Um, unlike Tromsa, who have got a chance to qualify for European football for the first time in years, which is amazing. Beat Haugesund at the weekend. Sorry, Mehdi, if you watch this. They did beat us six times in a row. You're right. Yeah, ZX signing for them was pretty dope. Right, anything interesting here? Master Schlock win again. Oh, that's helped us out a treat. But Hamron have now... That's basically the title gone, I would say. It's an eight-point gap, and we've only got nine points available to us now. We're not winning the league. A, a draw between the bottom two. But Master Schlock beating Birkikara means if we win our next game, we'll then be five points clear with two matches to spare. We'll basically wrap up second. Yeah, Shamrock Rovers were the £350 a week team. How have Master Schlock become so good this season? They come out of nowhere. Where did they finish last year? It was like... Oh, technically, they were seventh last year, I suppose. Worst season since 1980. Yeah, that's bad. Yeah, good you were relegated the same day, actually, I think. They both... Um, I think it was because Master won. Right. Uh, I just... At the moment, right? I'm picking on form, and Jean's in better form. I just want to keep him going, right? I see no reason to drop him at this stage. Uh, the season recap will be on YouTube on Thursday. Uh, the season recaps start that go out on the same day as the first stream of each new season. So it kind of becomes a lead-in. So it'll be Thursday morning with a recap for... Well, for seasons one and two, we'll go out at the same time because obviously of the situation. Cool. Kamara and Dongs, Massey, Kone. That's a good lineup. I think we're, we're looking pretty solid there. And now it's time... Oh, God, Panache. For a second P of the stream. And I'll see you guys in a moment. Uh, yeah, enjoy your whisk quiz. It was ca Kachapa? Kachapa? I'd never heard of the chap, apparently. Kachapa. But there he is. That, that, that was the dude. Or Kasapa. You got it right. Regardless. I see it in the chat. That's the main thing. 
also by the way look at us making fantastic progress today to actually get through that mountain of games that we had i did not think we'd actually be able to get through like 13 matches today but we we're, we're doing it we're looking good three to go 45 minutes Ezpez. we move Kashapa, that would make sense low farm country got some places for really loans and then all places are kind of yeah that's probably something we're going to experience too um but luckily i just don't think that the loan farm is going to be quite as important this year with the changes to the uh squad building I, I feel like we might actually not have to do anywhere near as much of it right boom and we're good let's go hey basil it's going very good uh we are we had a blip and we're worried about even getting top five and now Thanks to the resurgence of goals in the last few matches, we are absolutely clapping our way to the end of the season and looking very good for second spot. The reduced fixtures, I think, has really allowed us to calm ourselves down a little bit and just start getting some ridiculous results. Like, what our last three games have been 4-0, 7-0, 5-0, and 1-0 before that as well. I haven't conceded in four, and we're just scoring for fun. As, what a save. No, we weren't in Europe this season. Um, we missed out on Europe this year because, or last year technically, because a team that wasn't in Europe won the cup and it denied us a European spot. Grineo's delivery. Oh, go on, you can win that. Or just don't. Yeah. First Europe season will be next season, yeah. Well, provided nothing goes horribly wrong for us from here. But really, we're we basically are pretty much guaranteed European footballers. Whoa, he's at the bar again. Oh. I mean, there's still an outside chance that we could win the title, but it would take us to win all of our remaining games and have Hamrun lose all but one of their remaining games and they'd have to draw that game. Like, we're not going to be in Europe for long next season. Let's put it that way. I suspect we'll get knocked out very quickly because we're struggling to find players that can even fit in the squad for it. But we do have Borg, at least. That's going to make one more player that can join us in Europe next year. It's going to be tough. Ilano, thank you very much for the 12 months. Happy anniversary, babe, Bexo, Exo. Thank you, sir. That's very nice of you. Depends on the conference. It doesn't, know because the thing about it, we don't have enough homegrown players for it a lot of the time, so we're going to have a lot... Our squad is going to be tiny. Oh, Grinio's just skating through people again. Square it. Oh, he has to square it. Similar to the Welsh League. Um, I don't know about quality-wise. It's really hard to tell, but very low. It's always a bit of a mess. True, but it's not really... A, like, we're just going to struggle because of the quality of our squad more than anything else. Because we won't be able to field... We'll have a lot of players going to be pissed that they won't be registered for it. As now we're losing, and would you believe it, Panache Mutin Banyoka scored against us. We're losing to Zabar. Well, this is how we throw away second spot. Well, I, I think we can get through a round, maybe even two of the conference qualifiers, but we'll just get... The moment we come up against a team that's got a little bit about them, we'll be screwed. Like, if we come up against, a, like, a... I don't know, San Marinese team or an Andorran team or even, like a georgian side but if we say draw like a bulgarian team or a croatian team we'll be absolutely screwed it's just a question of whether we can get lucky with that first draw oh this is annoying though this was our chance to actually guarantee us because we can still come fourth remember and i would rather not do that because the money difference is actually like double we gained double the amount of prize money for oh no <laughs> from coming second that we would coming fourth and that money is going to be super useful for us to actually try and build a squad for next season Ah, uh, oh, Danish, like, oh, they'd absolutely kill us. Like, say we draw someone like, even someone like Suniusk would kill us. Not that they'd be in Europe, most likely, but yeah. We've actually been quite good in this game as well, and they've scored their only two shots of the match. We're back to old sirens again. It's like they got too confident after those great results, and now I'm just back to being at very mid. But if I know anything about this sirens team, is that we've got goals in us, so I wouldn't be surprised to see us actually get the equaliser here. That's poor. Oh, is that going to be a pen? No? Dick? Come on. Get a goal back before half time, and then we can sort of start working our way back into this. Yes, I have, uh, Andrew, which is awesome. Which is crazy. That's Kfum, isn't it? Fair have they ever been in the top flight before? We'll just get knocked out by HJK. That feels like something we could do. 13 0. Yeah. But I just want to get a lucky draw in the first round so we can get through, get some coefficient points, which will be helpful for later, but also just get a little bit of extra European prize money in that first season. Grinio, come on, you've got to finish here. Oh, he has, albeit very unfortunate for them. Lovely assist again from Dick. 16th goal of the season for Granillo. Lovely. Very important to get that one nice and early. Dick has got to be getting on for double-digit assists now. Like, he constantly puts balls in like that. Very unlucky. For Jabbar there. We're a bit unfortunate, honestly, to be 2-1 down here. But if we keep playing like this, the uh, the chances will come. Hopefully. 
Plus, I get to yell at them at halftime. Oh, that worked well. Feels like players are a bit more sensitive this season. It's like, come on. Buck up. Disheartened. You're playing shit. I have a high chance to win as an underdog. Um, I don't know because I, I don't know what players you have or what. And even so, the shape is not what really matters. It's how you play within that shape, right? Yeah, he's going to demand a meeting, presumably. It's really good, Alana, isn't it? Right. I'm thinking Jean might have been a mistake to start, but that's fine. It happens. I'm going to get him bong on as well. I'm going to light up chat. Blaze it. Even a draw would just allow us, like, literally, we'd be a game away from Big Hikara then because of our goal difference. So if we could just draw this game, fuck, what a hit. It would just give us that little cushion that we need to going into those last two games. Yeah, we've got Ondong and Bong on the pitch right now. It's good times. Uh, I'm using SAS24, uh, Morgan Stone. So if you do exclamation mark skin in chat, you'll get a download link for it. There you go. Chat's racing to do it. We're going to lose, aren't we? It kind of brings them back into the battle a little bit. Not really, but... Right, come on, S-Link. Oh! Players getting a week. Uh, well, they're not all earning the same amount, so... Um, no, no, don't, don't my bad. It, you, how would you know that? Like, um, that's why I was just enlightening. We we're just trying to be helpful. Um, but yeah, like our highest paid players on 750, I think. And our lowest paid players on like 50. So that between those amounts. But most of them are on around about four or 500. Generally speaking, I don't know the average off the top of my head. It's Marta! He's offside anyway. Ah. Uh. Ah, no worries, Morganston. Good name as well, Morganston. For some reason, it reminds me of Hamlet or a Shakespearean... Oh, I'm thinking of... I'm sure that's not what it's from. Uh, season two, Dan. Go to Spain. Very, ooh, very nice. As we've lost. That's an unfortunate result. We did not deserve to lose that. I'm going to yell at them again. Kone is now going to complain about it, but... I think players who get statues score goals like that. Guildenstern. Yes, that's it. It's Rosencrantz and Guildenstern. That's what I was thinking of. Yeah. <laughs> As if I'm thinking about how... Oh, here we go. Piss off. I hate this. It's like, if you're playing shit, I'm going to tell you. But hopefully it won't happen again. And if it does, you can swivel on it. Right. That's the title gone. We officially can... Hammer and are now champions, right? It's weird that it's not even... Oh, yeah, they are now crowned champions. We've scored 73 goals this season. Our defence has got a lot better in the second half of the season, actually. Like, we were a, a proper shit stand. How their goal difference is now better than ours again? Good Lord. What did they do on that last match day? Last season, I watched... Uh, who is? Because we're way higher up. Well, not way higher up. We're higher up enough. Morning in German. Oh, it could be. So it's... Ah, I, I see don't people sometimes refer to Danes as swamp Germans? Or am I just thinking... Or is that somewhere else? I, I swear I heard a Swede call a Dane that once. Uh, that's a... We're going to hit the dingers about, yes. Netherlands, yes, you're right, yeah. Luxembourg is fun. Oh, good. Now Jean's out. Either pronounce or spell it first time. What? Can't spell Denmark? They need to get better. Uh, right. Oh, it's the cup final chat. Presumably. Oh, that, they give him a good go, actually. Fair play to Master Schlock. That's not bad. But most importantly, Hammer and win the cup, which means we are... In fact, we might even be... We should... We are now guaranteed Europe next season. But I think it just takes a little while. But we're very much not guaranteed to... Uh, there we go. Conference League, get in. £950 there? Sorry, we're locked into the Conference League. Excellent. But I really do want second because the difference between... Literally, it's double the amount of prize money between second and fourth. So that extra money could be absolutely crucial for us qualifying. Literally just taking them out to a nice little restaurant down in, uh, down in Medina or something. Right, time to slap around uh, Dingley. Uh, that's not the training I'm currently using, Brazio. I need to update. Well, 
yeah i do need to update it anyway um because i'm gonna change over to the rdf ones probably but at the moment i'm using mike's ones from the steam workshop right good little win over dingley keeps the confidence up no problem there now that's a sunday game and then we finish off with a saturday match the week after nice this is no gap in between these two I think third would still be good, but like, it makes a huge difference. That extra, that money is going to be divine tea. Love it. Just what a great name, divine tea. -er. You don't want to dip him in the harbour. Ooh, Adonis. His name alone has sold me, or at least for a trial. Love that. Well, exactly, Hadrian. Yeah, I was curious to see if we'd actually be able to accomplish that today. No composure. Yeah. Bloody hell. Okay, he's very good. Gentlemen, uh, yes, I have. Um, well, it, it was We don't call it that because I have some other rules that I implement, but I did an outcast, what I call an outcast to icon save on Twitch, at least, um, in 2020. I did it on YouTube in like 2021 as well, didn't I? I think. Something like that. And, um, but yeah, it's still, it was still a European journey, man. I love it. But we had some extra rules that I think made it a bit more fun. Dick showing pre in progress. Good news. Yeah, literally, fourth is 500k. Second place is a mil. So if we can get that mil, it'll be huge. Kassar's left his agent. Maybe he'll actually consider things a little bit more now. I really hope we don't lose him, but he seems to have made his mind up. Use candidates. Oh, another injury. Yeah, 2021 as well. It wasn't solely with Sassuolo, but yeah. Sassuolo, I loved managing Sassuolo. Does not generous sense. I enjoy them. I'm looking forward to doing one on FM25. Because it's been a while since I've done one now. And with the rules that I use for my journeyman saves, I think that's what makes... I wouldn't just do it normally, but I feel like the Outcast of Icons rules make it more fun. For me, anyway. Oh, it was appalling, Basil. Literally the worst youth intake I've ever seen. Like, unironically. Our best player was two-star potential, and everyone else under that was one and a half or lower. Potential. Well, that was the plan, Andrew, yeah. Um, but it probably wouldn't be able to happen straight away because we'd need the bigger databases. So it might have to take a little while. I don't know. I don't like Iceland in Journeyman saves either. Oh, Master Slock win again. But Birkikara lose at home to Hamroon. That's huge. That means that if we can just avoid defeat in our next game, we'd wrap up at least third. But Master Slock will come out of nowhere here. That's actually kind of wild. And Zabar win again. I mean, they can't quite catch Birkikara, but they're going to be close. Top four is now locked. But it's a question of whether we... We need to win our next game. If we win it, then... In fact, if we do win it... Yeah, if we win our next game, we get third, we get second. And it's Balzan at home. We should be winning it. Uh, yep, goes to the league. That's fine. Creative dick on Has he really got that many? Not bad for creative dick. Solid work there, buddy. Yeah, we need to win our next game. And this is the easier of the two. Ah, uh, right. I'm going to just go with whatever my assistant reckons for this one, particularly with Jean having that injury. So, yeah, Marza, Marza and Grineo in. Rest of the team the same. Tasty. Leave in two years. Uh, you can, but I try not to do that in those types of saves. I try to at least play with it an element of realism in it. He says whilst doing a fantasy multi database. European qualifying. Uh, well, it depends which... Um, if you mean like... We'd go into the Conference League. I can't remember how much you get for each round. And it would also depend on which round we got to and stuff. You don't get a lot in the early stages. I nearly instant result out there. That could have been, that could have been bad. Dick, we'll make it Art Nouveau. Yeah, bit of Art, dick, bit of art Dicko. Right. Oh, no longer top of the form standings. We've slacking slightly. Kind of that. Yeah, the early, like, Conference League qualifying round is is pretty minuscule. But as you say, having... It will allow us to sign people like Nathaniel and Wusu. Yeah, 2.5 million if we reach the group is brilliant, but we're not going to reach the group. <laughs> I'm telling you now, we ain't reaching the Conference League group stage next season. <laughs> Unless we can somehow find some absolute monsters in the summer. And even if we do, it's going to be tough to assemble a squad that's going to actually be able to be registered for the Conference League. It's going to take us a few seasons, I think, to even start thinking about that. But I think our best way of getting into the Conference League groups, honestly, is by winning the league and then getting to skip a couple of rounds by doing the Champions League route and then playing through the uh, through the Champions path. 
That, I think, is our genuinely our best route into the uh, Conference League. Oh, we're playing against uh, Tutu in goal for them. Per year, uh, we don't know because it's not um, it's not static values. It based on how many games you have on TV and who they're against. So I couldn't, I can't tell you an exact number. But we haven't had that many. Probably about two hundred fifty k, I think, because we had about one hundred fifty, one hundred twenty k's worth after Christmas, didn't we? The rep boost will be massive. Yeah. Oh, I forgot to look up a uh, Rude Guild, a uh, Rude Rude Gulid. I will do that after the stream. Yeah, you'd have to get super lucky for that. Yeah. Marza, come on. Yeah, this year it's just about rep, seeing how far we can go, building and trying to win the title. Once we can get that title win, which I feel like next season, if we strengthen in the right places, we can definitely be in, in the conference. Yeah, no, we were talking about the league um, money rather than the conference league. Yeah, this year is it's a steady progress in the right direction. We have to start trying to find a way to rely less on the loans, though. But we're still going to have to rely on loans for a while because we just simply don't have the budget to not do it. And they just make such a difference to squad depth anyway. Farm rep. Um, you can't really... You gain rep through all sorts of factors. Things like European qualifications, all that sort of jazz. But, oh, chat, suddenly I've decided that I want to go out into the Bering Sea and catch me some nice Opelio crabs. It's Mars is through and he smashes it home for his 21st of the season. She's straight to the Conference League. First put Does it? As in, you don't have to do any qualifying rounds. I swear you go into, like, the Champions Path qualifiers for the Conference League in, like, the third round or something? Loans for backup. Yeah, I think that's what it's going to be. The loans will give us a lot more depth next year, but I do want to focus on some permanent signings. Get, oh, yeah, yeah, you skipped Europa. I think the reason for that is because the first round of the... Quali you can't drop into the second round qualifying for the Europa because it doesn't exist anymore. So there's nothing to drop into. Until there's no qualifying for the Europa until I think the third round, which is ironic. So I think that's why it does it. But you're right, it does kind of put you in a bit of a um, hole in a way because it means that you sort of don't get that second chance to go through another one. But that's fine because it means that if we go into the Champions League, we get a great chance at qualifying for the Conference League group stages. It's like as Marza scores again, and we're looking to finish with a flourish here. If we win this game, we get second spot. Get in. Let it pretty quickly. Yeah, I'd say so, Dan. I don't think there's much more you can do, really. You really win that first round, yeah. But that's the thing. At least it would allow us that extra chance of progression by getting into the Champions League doing it. Like, it won't make... Maybe a little bit more money as well, but it's barely anything. We need to do a Klaxvik and go all the way. Yeah, it's going to take us a while to get ahead of uh, Hamroon. What I will say, though, is... The gap to them this season, oh, which you can't see, is we've definitely brought the gap down. Like, they've not been able to run away with the league title this season. They've dropped some points. They've... And we've kept them We've kept them honest. We've gained more points than last season. If we could just continue to improve and then start to try and take them on. Like, it's about beating them when we play them as well. That's going to be so crucial because they're going to be getting better as well. They've got a lot of money. They've got £5 million in the bank compared to every other Maltese side. They're absolutely stacked with cash. Granillo makes it 3-0. Oh, I mean, we're back. Rot are rotating in their graves? Command. Oh, it was, um, it was just straight up youth, Lavinio. Just like the actual word for what is blood doing. But it was dreadful. Uh, it was the worst youth intake I've ever seen. Like, actually ever seen. I'm, I know I'm prone to hyperbole. This was not hyperbole. It was the worst youth intake I've ever seen. It literally was, yeah. Because now we're just back to being good again. I mean, admittedly, we're playing a much worse opponent. But it does show that now we can actually... This is good news for next season. Because it feels to me like now against these shit opponents, we're actually going to clap them and not concede loads of goals while doing it. Earlier in this season, we were like winning 6-3, 5-2. Now it feels like we're going to win like 7-0 in games as Mars is through again. The keeper's completely sold himself when it's 4. This is 23rd and a hat-trick. Oh. If nothing else, we're going to finish with the most goals scored this year. And I want the top goal difference, damn it. The keeper... What is the keeper doing there? It's certainly not going to be 2-2 two -two after this. Uh, yeah, we had our Borgs. Uh, there was two Borgs. There was an Azapardi right at the very end. Uh, there was a Gretsch, as always. There was a, oh yeah, there was a guy called Pinthorpe. There was a Swedish dude, wasn't there? I don't know if he even had multi-second nationality, but oh god, it's five. 
Samassi now makes it 5 0. We're actually doing, we're on better pace in this game than we were against the game we won 7 0. Holy Christ. We're going to score like 80 goals this season in a season with 26 games. This is like the sort of numbers we'd put up in like the latter stages with MTK sometimes. Our goal scoring is actually outrageous. Like plus 42 goal difference. Hamrun are not that much better than us. I think we just fall down a little bit with the occasional random result. What a great result from the first half. Just more of that, please. I reckon, I reckon we go for eight here. I reckon we really put the Balzan youths in the ground. It's a bit fotty, isn't it? SLA. Oh, go on, Dickie Billy. Oh, he deserved a goal there. It is, I would say it's less of a farmer's league. More of a plumber's league. Because it's leaky-ass defences. Harry Kane would get a few, yeah. Still didn't get the best goal difference per game. Christ. Yeah, that was great. It's almost like France just took that some of those tackles personally, as it is now a penalty. Sells or clauses. Um, if a clause gets triggered, it's good for it. At this stage, if we get a clause triggered, it's good, because the clauses are so high comparative to us. As Cater from the spot makes it six. Loan extension, we haven't really got any must sells either. We're in a good spot coming into this year, the, the next season. Like, we'll obviously have the loan situation to sort out. We'll try and extend a couple if possible, but most likely, maybe us playing in Europe next year might help, but I'm not sure. Right. I think getting second is probably what's going to mean that we don't need to worry about making any sales. I mean, it might happen because we're forced into it because of release clauses, but I don't think it's going to be something that... But I want to be relying less and less on loan players. Have you noticed, though? Our defense is now pretty much entirely ours. We're not relying so much on the loanies, although the strike force is definitely something that definitely needs to come into look at. We're looking good. We've got Mbong, we've got Dick, we've got... We've got Ndong, we've got Mbong. Those guys are all ours now. And we've still got money left to spare, too, in the wage budget, because we've been quite sensible with the way we've been playing things around so i'm i'm feeling confident yeah Boalo with that injury is concerning but he was never going to come back we need to we might need to sign martin but it's not going to happen i think he, he would end up costing us like 300 grand and maybe it's possible but i don't know if he'd even sign for us he probably wouldn't sign for us permanently anyway that's the concerning thing we can always have a look i think my first port of call is going to be to try and just loan him again for a second season because that way we would potentially be able to get him on a free at the end of it But I suspect that he's not going to want to sign for us permanently anyway. But if we can get another loan for him for a year, that might be enough. Yeah, he was super not interested. But maybe us qualifying for Europe will make a bit of a difference. What a pass. I think he's offside, but what a save. But there'll be others, right? We just need to find players like him that can do it. Starting squad. Um, Kassar is still here, and he might be the only one, honestly. Because so many of the uh, starting squad were on loan. The off sign changes. Is it that ridiculous thing I was talking about earlier? Just notice a release cause. Oh no! That's not what you want. There'll be plenty of other Argentinians that we can find, yeah. Passing the Vega rule. Yeah, that's utterly stupid. Um, we were talking about this earlier. Um, I actually brought it up out of nowhere, but yeah, I think that's utterly ridiculous. It will make zero difference. Right. Cessnion actually formed quite an important part of this save, just because of us being able to use him as a make weight in order to sign Dick. Right, 6-0, very good again, lovely. Well, exactly, it's just, it doesn't change anything. It's just a different line you're now drawing things from. It changes nothing. If anything, it's just, yeah, so silly. Best ever finish for us, that's wrapped up second spot. Gorgeous, Marts with another three goals. 23 in the season as well. Dick with 10 assists. Granillo, 10, 14 goals and 10 assists in 21 appearances is actually outrageous. Like, I think, provided... Who are Hammering playing last day? They're hosting Valletta. We're away at Gio. That's going to be tough. I don't think they... I think we get them on... Um, we're not going to get them, but like, I think we'll end up with a better goal difference, at least. And we're certainly going to win the uh, challenge of the most goals scored, as we've literally scored 22 more than anybody else. And also conceded 36. But that's got way better. Like, we've gone from being, like, down here on goals conceded to up here, which is nice. Also, only 18 conceded for Hammer. That's where they've really been strong. They just don't concede goals. XG table, we're right there. They've overperformed. We've hit it bang on. We believe in next season. 
Bloody hell, what a game. And technically, they can still finish above Zabar. Parity or who's disparity? Um, it, it depends on the league. Like, in this league, Hamroon are, certainly from the start anyway, seemingly quite much, quite a lot better than the other teams. They've got a lot more money as well. Like, Hamroon have got nearly 5 million in the bank. In fact, they do have 5 million in the bank, whereas you look at the values of the other teams, Hibernian, like, negative value. Master have got £450,000 of debt. Master stock have got a little bit of cash. We're 90 grand in debt. 300,000 there for Sleema. I, I dread to see what Zabar's is going to be. 425 grand. Florian, what if they have sacked their manager? Let's have a look. They seem to have improved slightly. Yeah, Master might be in trouble. They might have to sell a few guys. Managers. Uh, no, they got a new guy in January. Let me just hide the caretakers because, yeah, guy was struggling. Also, their former manager that did them really well last year left. That's why they've got Jacques Scary, and he did an appalling job. Only won 31% 30, of his games. New guys come in, won 50% so far. Really solid. Right, cool. Last game of the season coming up against Kajira. I can't believe we've actually managed to get through this many games. Successfully. Ooh. And don't forget, we've also got one signing set up for next season already. This has already been completed. Which is... We've got um, GBD op. So one of our midfield... Look, he's joining us for free in the summer. Really solid player. So that's going to be one less player we'd have to sign next year. Yeah, Luxembourg wasn't really... The dude, the, the dude lounge, as I call them, were pretty dominant for a bit. Oh, lookups. Yes, sorry, my, my apologies. Yes, there are. Arud Gulid. Wait. Um, not seeing him, so I'm going to just refund your points for that. Uh, that was a... Oh, that was it. That was the only lookup. Oh, no, he's going to be great for multi-standards, yeah. The increased processing is fantastic, isn't it? It's going to make our lives so much better. Yeah, us trying to find our new strike partnership for next year. It's going to be Jean and one other, really, but I still want to make sure we have three strikers available. Uh... Well, Grineo is actually going to win that potentially as well. It's Ruth Hullet. Well, Ruth Hullet's... I mean, he's a retired staff member. Uh, but that's about it. Either way. Jean and Young Argentine. Yeah, I mean, it just depends though. Because remember, the only reason we have those guys is because our DOF recommended them to us. If our DOF just doesn't recommend us Argentinian players this year, screwed. Potentially. Glenn Zarafa has won the Maltese Under-19 Player of the Year. Okay. Well, good for you, buddy. Uh, sure. He's won quite a few awards, actually. So yeah, Thursday stream will be big, because it's going to be... <coughs> transfer stream, plus obviously the... um. Yeah, it's going to be the first qualifiers, too, because... It's not like we... Yeah. Our, trans our transfer strategy is going to remain basically the same. Although, the we might be able to bump the scouting. Depends how much budget we get. Qualifies draw. Oh, not for ages. Not till like June. No, late June, I think. Depends. So that'll just happen on stream anyway. Uh, right. Final day of the season. I don't know why we would swap them over onto their wrong feet. It's just a strange decision. Yeah, we'll get the budgets today. Yeah, if some, once some actual footballers start joining us, it's going to be great. Yeah, loans, agent offers. Maybe a little bit of actual scouting if you can find some amateur players, potentially. That's what that's the way we're going to get some young players that we can make homegrown, is the amateur scouting. And I think I'm hoping that we'll get enough of a transfer budget that we can just assign, just to get European scouting for a couple of months. That might be enough. Even if it costs us like 100 grand. I reckon that'd be a worthwhile use of our time, particularly as we're going to get like a million for coming second in the league. So our financial situation is going to be quite good this summer. So we might actually have a little bit of money to play with in this. We'll have probably, I reckon our transfer budget is going to be about 300k, maybe, which isn't going to be enough for someone like Marza. And we can dump some of that into scouting anyway, and just go for freebies still. Because remember, even though we may end up with like a million in the bank, I bet you we get a notification from the board about starting to find a site for a new stadium this summer because half the teams in the league have already got that and ours is definitely going to be coming soon. And we have to be prepared for the fact that that's going to cost us four to six million quid that we just do not have. So we need to make sure that we be very careful with our budgets over the next few seasons to allow us to end up eating the cost of that. 
cases all the way through and he just scores straight he's only joined us in january by the way and he's already got seven goals for the club he is gonna be so good next year nine was yeah i suspect that might happen the belgian amateurs the croatian amateurs french and spanish and german amateurs that's i think this summer is where we're going to start to benefit from that kind of thing potentially anyway but we'll just have to see how much money we get um but we do know for a fact that we need to make sure that we're going to be getting into a kind of million pound situation got the expansion instead that added 70 seats wow that's well played um i suspect that we're not going to be as lucky as that uh, you get barely any money for that banksy we i think it's about 84 grand for round participation and if the match is televised part another 20 grand so we'd have to go pretty we'd basically for the conference league to really make any dent in our budgets we'd need to kind of qualify for the group stages and get the two million there if we could get conference league group stage qualification before we build the new stadium that might save our asses as far as the finances go or at least eat a lot of the costs of it dick again come on square it dicky boy oh he's won a penalty he was hoping for that assist record but we're looking good yeah we're not going to get the groups this season there's just no way um, I mean, i've said that before but like i just think that we're just we're simply not on the level to be able to do that as cater drops another goal in eighth goal of the season if I, uh, he signed in january and he's already i think our third highest scorer on the team no technically john is i suppose but still very very good any surprises going on down the league i can't believe valetta and hibs have fallen off that much considering valetta were in the title race with us at one point cater with the delivery What's that? It's a looping boy. And it's headed home by Kamara again. Other than that one random blip against Zabar, we've been absolutely superb. Chance to hurt your players now. I could tell them to... Well, they'll, they'll probably all speak English anyway. I'll just throw packets of Maltesers at them until they do as I command. I'm like Optimus Prime, but with chocolate. Chocolamus Prime. And Dick's now pulled someone. He's just pushed someone over there. Dick was too aggressive with him. Ah. Uh, yeah, Valletta were top of the table. It was us and them that were like three points clear. Of, at one point, I think us and Valletta were genuinely like five or six points clear. Oh, what a save! Traore with the big stop. It is pretty universal, yeah. Even the hand gestures alone would get the point across, I think. We've had a few penalty saves today. Not that language, course they were. That's true. That is true. That cursed owl. Hey, we might even be able to afford the occasional language course next season for feeling extra fancy. I assume Hammer and are winning. Are they playing? Are they further down the list? Oh, they're at nil nil with Valletta. Hey, Danny. How many Maltese players? Are? That'd be none uh, because they are simply not good enough. And we would quite like to win matches. How important the language courses? I don't think they're that important, but they do help. Like, it helps with dynamics and cohesion and stuff like that if the players can all speak the same language. But it's not worth us spending £30,000 £30, a pop for the privilege. Oh, we've got Mbong. Sorry, we do have Mbong, yes. But he's not in our starting eleven. Ah. We have to sign Joseph Mbong. But he's going to be very helpful for us in Europe next season. He's going to be one of our few... I think if we could sign another couple of Maltese players in the summer... And I don't mind signing from other Maltese clubs in the meantime. Um, as long as they're not teams in Europe, then we will. But we won't have the money to sign most of them, I suspect. Grineo, oh my god, what an effort. Hungry players next year. Oh, massively. We're going to hugely struggle with it, but we've got no choice. Because we have, to sign players that are, we have to sign players that were good enough to get us into Europe. And if we'd signed a lot of Maltese players, we probably would not have... We couldn't afford to for a start, because they would have cost money. And we then wouldn't have come and got into Europe in the first place. Uh, basically. Cooper. Yeah, Do we're trying to find some Maltese me. freebies. I am familiar with over six hundred. That's gonna have to be the strategy. I am programmed to get freebies. Uh, Terry, uh, thank you very much for the follow. If you have enjoyed today's stream and you are new to the content, then drop a follow. I'd appreciate that. I stream on Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Sundays. Well, that's the thing. The plan is this summer to start hunting for some of those um amateur youth players that we can bring in before they turn eighteen, and then hopefully with them, any good ones, get some homegrown players out of it. That's the plan, anyway. It's just a question of whether we can find anybody. As Samut draws on over the crossbar. We don't have the money for mascots and memes just yet. Completed the challenge now. Ooh. What's this? Holy goddamn, you just beat Spurs. That's that's wild. I love that Son still got man of the match despite them losing to a Maltese team. Fair play. That is an insanely good result. 
was that over two legs or was that just the the, the first leg granio has got pace i love the the pace that granio has at this level pace is so damn important but the fact that they actually can finish a little bit too has helped here we go cater again what's he got in him this time now oh i thought they were just gonna give us the ball back then or oh, molinar flicks it over the crossbar oh yeah you will lose seven nil in the second leg because of the home advantage thing or the home the you being away and being a maltese club disadvantage more than anything else but yeah that home advantage it do be real what was it eight to nine percent that max said yeah i do like a bit of three doors down pog and i were listening to this on the way back from oh cambridge the other day it's a bop sad bop but bop nevertheless Right. I can't think of this song and not think of um, American Pie. But I don't know if this was in American Pie. It was a different song, I think. Right, we'll get them bong on. So, yeah, they have some good songs. Uh, we'll go with Jean for a little bit. Wait, is that the wrong player? Yeah, fuck it was. Oh, well. <laughs> no, what he's like, yeah, I mean, we're going to have to... It's going to be a small-ass squad for Europe next season. But we've got them bong, and if you can find maybe one or two more just to fill those spots... I think my plan is just to build a normal squad and then try to fill it up with a few extras at the end. Choosing Sirens. So we originally wanted to do Nash Our Lions, but Twitch wouldn't let us because it won't let us say the name of the club in chat. So that kind of dented that one. And then we just chose Sirens in the end because it was just a cool name for a club. It was just literally as simple as that. I had my heart set on Nash Our, but yeah. I was in goal two. Right, that's where I recognize it from. Yeah. Because goal two is when he's being all lonely in Spain, isn't he? What a sentence that is. Taking players alone for you. No way. Kato drops it across. That should have been a goal. That's got the, they're not doing a great job of the Xfinity series at the moment. They were bottling. They were going for the title, but they've actually ended up bottling the playoffs entirely. They are very much the. Um, hang on. Trying to think of an example here. They're the. They're the Carson. They're the Carson Hope. That's truck series, Matt. Hang on. Buffering. I can't do it. I can't. <laughs> I was thinking of the truck series. I was going to say they're the, the Carson Hosevar because they've got the talent there, but they keep misplacing it. Um, <sighs> Wheel of Modifier. Sounds like they Hamlined it. Now that I can get on board with. <laughs> I'm, I'm totally on board with any Delhi Hamlin slander. Ooh, what an effort. <sighs> My brain was buffering. Uh, we've kind of pissed away this game quite a lot here, actually, haven't we? Which is always fun. The Ferrari race strategy. In it. They've run over all of the hubcaps. Not hubcaps. Manholes. Eating an apple weirdly with some of the losses. Mrs. found out and had a Barney. Big sad moment. I know. I watched Goal the other day while Pog was out. I said the other day. It was like a couple of months ago. Pog was out and I was eating for breakfast. I was like, I need something on. Let me watch Goal. Okay, good win. Very fortunate. I literally couldn't think of Xfinity Series drivers. That's literally what it is. It's literally me going, I can't think of anyone from the Xfinity series. Well, that's not true. But I couldn't think of someone that suited what I was about to say. They're the Cole Custer. There you go. They're the Cole Custer of Maltese football. Top decent at the second tier level, but they cannot do it at the top flight. Analogy confirmed. Sorry, Cole. Ah. Did they oh, they did win in the end. So Hammer and get the win surprise surprise but we do get the better goal difference which is the most important thing and well that was a real oh god those two relegated sides were just truly awful also shout out to Sleema who out of nowhere just ended up getting in there yeah I mean that wasn't their fault true what a 6-3 for Birkikara is very solid um but it didn't help them we actually finished five points clear after all the concerns there maybe Olga it could be Olga I feel like hasn't had as many chances in the top I'm trying to think of the last time Justin Olga was driving in a Cup Series team, whereas, like, Custer had several, a couple of seasons at SHR. And, I mean, not that SHR have been very good other than Kevin Harvick, but oh, you love to see it. Million pounds. They're the Danica Patrick. No. That, that implies they were. If they were the Danica Patrick of Maltese football, they. Well, firstly, there'd be a huge amount of debt because of all the equipment they'd be writing off, but they'd be winning the Gosseton League. That's what they'd be doing. They'd be able to compete in the Gosseton League. They'd get top for one match day. Oh, Medigachem. I bet you he didn't. This is all gone a bit off the rails here. Oh, they learned to do the Floriana. Bastards. Ah, dear. 
Right. So finances are now looking... Christ, we really were starting to struggle, weren't we? One year in a back market. Who did he drive for? Must have, might have been before I was watching NASCAR, actually. Which was like 2016. Oh, hello. I want manager of the year. You love to see it. Right, here's all the stuff. Record high. Good shit. Oh, I forgot they'd come um, fourth in real life before as well. Albeit with a much worse... Wait, oh, that was the COVID season, wasn't it? Maybe he was the problem. Who knows? Right, squad planning there. Cater was... In, wait. Rodrigo Granillo wins player of the year. To be fair, 14 assists and 20... Sorry, 14 goals and 10 assists in 20 appearances is actually mad. And Marza wins second. He gets 26 appearances. To be fair, 26 goal contributions. To do, like, double digits in both is fantastic. Top assister in the league as well. Marza wins top goal scorer. No surprises there. He kind of fell off. I mean, I say fell off a little bit. Man still scored 23 goals in 23 games. But at one point, he was on for, like, 35 Sal wins Rookie of the Year. Molinar gets one there too. Grenade wins Young Player of the Year. Manager of the Year for your boy. Borg Headley, please. Well, good for him. Uh, Ali Utroyo wins Goalkeeper. Dick wins Defender of the Year. Samassi in there as well. Uh, that makes sense. Yeah, that, those kind of makes sense. We'll get Troy already some extra free morale. Not that he needs it. Uh, they're pretty happy with the second spot, it would seem. Right, the question then becomes budgets. Budgets usually takes a couple of weeks, if I remember. Do you know what? That's fine. It's not game. It's not moon money, but it's money. One hundred and seventy-seven thousand transfer budget, four thousand in wage budget. It's a, it's a bump. It's solid. Bear in mind, we were already up to nearly two k in wage budget available already, so it's not a huge amount. But you know, it's money we've got to work with. We can definitely bump up our scouting once we get going properly for next stream. What will that allow us to get? Can we get Europe for a bit? I reckon we could definitely do like two months of two to three months of European scouting in the summer to allow us to get those Belgian amateurs. Because we're not going to be paying for the players to sign them. So it means we can put some of that money towards the actual scouting of those players instead. I would say that's the move. That's we'll also be able to allow us to start these back up again. Mass trial. Well, most of those players wouldn't be wouldn't be trialable because they'll all have clubs. Yeah, two to three months, about 60 grand. And a couple of, yeah, a couple of language courses in there as well. It's not as much as I was expecting. I was hoping that we'd get some... Um... Replenish? Replenish what? I was hoping that we'd get like closer to 300,000. But you know what? I suppose with, with the player wage is going to be going up too. It does make sense that they want to be careful because again, with the money, we have to build a club for, we have to build a squad for Europe next season. And when you look at our team... Yeah, we'd have probably got it if we hadn't bottled the carp, honestly, because we're going to lose. It's not as bad as it was. There's actually only six low knees there now. Cans in the fridge. Yes. Good shout. It's not bad. I think we're in a good spot, which means Thursday stream is going to be proper fun. Kilometer record. Well, we won't be able to look there because we don't have worldwide scouting and we can't afford worldwide scouting. The best we can do is Europe. So we're going to have to look for European amateurs. Any out of contract? I don't. No one important is out of contract this summer if that makes sense. So we might lose a couple of, like, we might clear up a bit of extra wage budget, but it was Bepis, deodorant, and something else. Oh, shit, hang on, I've got lookups to do. Uh, my apologies. Uh, Dejon Brown, he does not appear to be in my save file, so that saves us a bit of time. Uh, Cock Foster's obviously it's just a common team. To broad he might be out of contract. He might, yeah. We'll get him. Um, but yeah, that's... What is the... I'm honestly more obsessed with the badge that they've got going on here. It looks like a pub. I'm here for it. Training, it probably was. Yeah, but I'm probably going to change that anyway because um, I'll, I'll refund your points, Davinio. Should have won the Cup Series. Uh, Ryan Blaney, because he did. <laughs> I mean, that's... That everyone knows the format going in. And Blaney absolutely smashed it over those last few races. They just figured some shit out. End of the day, the driver that won the one under the rules is the one who won that's who should have won um i know people are oh, true x with this but like true x was shit in the playoffs like genuinely awful you know for the most part uh, legit oh, but if yeah, you want my true answer sure. obviously ross chastain yeah, my boy so <laughs> uh legit enigmas thank you very much for the follow what, no they're losing dirt race next year they, they got rid of bristol dirt for next year i'm i was guided about that because it's just like just it's so cool that they had all these different things going on but no they're getting rid of bristol dirt next year but luckily we get fucking chicago street course again although admittedly like, that was kind of fun, but SVG will probably just win again, right? 
Right, who am I raiding today? Is be my question. Uh, I feel like I've, I've raided Hood the, like, the last three times we've finished the stream like this. Uh, Jim Jones was just too good. Yeah, it didn't stop him very much, did it? I reckon he'd have still been at the height. I reckon he could have gone a lot longer if he hadn't have had that crash at Dover. Uh, right. Let's gonna, we're going to raid Dalji. Uh, bust that out. Hopefully I say this. Fun watch the cat. Yeah, it was just starting to get cool in that. And the fact that they got rid of Road America as well. Like, Road America was one of my favourite road courses, when they, albeit they only did it like twice, but yeah. Road of Portuguese guy. I'm not going to do that because I would like to send my uh, viewers to um, a stream that predominantly they will understand the language of. Um, yeah, that's just something I tend to do because I want to make sure that you guys are guaranteed an excellent and wonderful time. Not that I'm sure they wouldn't have had a wonderful time if they all spoke Portuguese, but they do not. Uh, so yeah, obrigado, chato. <laughs> and I'll see you guys uh, on Thursday. Great vibes today. Wonderful. Great moves, chat. Keep it up. And 